Praise the Lord, YouTube. God bless you tonight, Apostle Carmen Haywood. Blessings upon blessings upon blessings. I am excited tonight. When I tell you all, I am so excited about what God is getting ready to do. Amen. We're going to talk tonight from the subject, There is a Remnant. Amen. We're going to talk from the subject, There is a Remnant. Blessings upon blessings to each and every one of you. Instagram. I'm sorry, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook Live in the middle. Listen, we finally got the devices set up. Amen. It took me some time, but I thank God. I thank God we are here tonight. Amen. And I just bless him. I bless the Lord. Amen. Just for his presence. Hallelujah. I thank God for his anointing. Hallelujah. Amen. That has come tonight to destroy every yoke of the enemy in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. We thank God for the power of prayer tonight. Amen. We just got off of our prayer line about 20 minutes ago. Amen. And our minister Hattie, amen, had prayed us in on tonight. So those of you that were on the line, prayerfully you have repented. But if you did not repent, amen, go ahead and take the time to repent in God's presence right now. Amen. Just take the time to say, Lord, forgive me. Forgive me for my sin, God. Forgive me for all that I've said, all that I've done, all that I that have, have done in, in your sight, God, that was displeasing unto you. Come on, take this time to repent in God's presence in Jesus' name. Yes, God bless each and every one of you. I see you all greeting me tonight. God bless you, Kamaya. God bless you, Evangelist Arlene. Blessings upon blessings. Listen, I'm grateful. I am so grateful tonight. Um, you know, even for this word, hallelujah. I'm grateful for Monday. Amen. And how the Lord bless us on Monday. Um, that teaching, God bless you, Sister Ashley. That teaching was so phenomenal in God. And I'm not just saying that because I taught it or that God gave it to me. I'm telling you all, it was so much needed. You know, spiritual maturity is so important because we're in a time right now where many people are not spiritually mature, you know? And so I'm not here to point the finger. I don't know who's on tonight. I don't know who's going to be on YouTube. I don't know who's going to be on Instagram tonight, but I don't even know who's going to, who's going to watch the replay, but I do know this much that God is speaking. Amen. In these last and evil days, God is speaking because he's soon to return. Hallelujah. And so however you get the word, wherever you get the word from, whether it's your church, whether it's on social media, however you get the word, people of God, pay attention to the times and the seasons. Pay attention to what God is saying. I'm telling you, hallelujah. The Bible says he that has an ear, let him hear what the spirit of the Lord is saying unto the church. Thank you, Evangelist Arlene. I'm going to pin that right here. Amen. The Bible says, glory to God, especially in the book of um, Revelation, it says, he that has an ear, let him hear what the spirit of the Lord is saying unto the church. And so those of you that say you are the church, this is the time to listen. This is the time to listen attentively to the instructions of God, whether it's coming directly to you from God or whether it's coming from your leader. It is so important that you listen and you humble yourself. My God, in the name of Jesus, I'm telling you, saints, I'm telling you, many people are leaving here. Many people are falling by the wayside. Many people are giving up, listening, walking away from the faith. Let me tell you something. This is not the time to give up. And I'm not talking about giving up for you to get a blessing. I'm talking about not giving up so that you can live. And I'm talking about live the abundant life in God. Hallelujah. I'm talking about a life of obedience. Come on. That's what I'm talking about. Amen. I'm not talking about continual disobedience. I'm talking about obedience to God. And listen, this is how you know that God is separating the wheat from the tear. People don't care no more. Come on, daughter Kamaya. I see you hitting those hearts. People don't care anymore. They don't care how they live. They don't care how they treat each other. They, they don't care how they how they disrespect the leaders in the body of Christ. People just don't care no more. I'm telling you, this is a sad time we are in, and we got to be very careful that we follow what God is telling us to do. God bless you all on Instagram tonight. Listen, take the time to share with your followers, if you will. Those of you on Facebook Live, I'm not going to be before you all long, I promise. I'm just going to Give, give you what God gave me tonight, and I'm going to get off, <laughs> unless the Lord says otherwise. Amen. But I just want to say to you all, this is the time to hear what God is really saying. And, you know, it's, it's really sad. We're really in a sad time. Yes, yes, Sister Debbie, it's, it's sad. It's really sad because, you know, God is sending warning, and he's sending instruction. But it reminds me of the Bible times. You know, it's just like Jonah. I'm sorry, not Jonah. It's like Noah. You know, when Noah was warning the people and he was saying, it's going to rain. They was like, Noah, it ain't raining 40 years. What you talking about? 
He was like, no, God is getting ready to send the rain. And they didn't believe him. <laughs> they did not believe. They did not believe Noah. They, they just didn't believe, you know, and it's just like today. People just don't believe, you know, they'll believe for a house. They'll believe for a car. <laughs> they'll believe for some more money. You know, they'll believe God for a blessing like that, but they won't believe God for anything spiritual. People don't want spiritual blessings anymore. They, they don't want to die to their flesh. <laughs> People don't listen. They don't want God to purge them and cleanse them. Come on. Y'all oh, not talking back to me. People don't really want God. They want the blessings like he's some type of genie. You know, you just rub his belly and he going to move. Don't work like that. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. And so many people, God bless you, uh, Minister Yolanda. So many people are finding themselves in a ditch. Let me just help about five of you out right here because I know where you at. And I, I, I pray that you hear this word and really repent tonight. There are many that are in a ditch and they're not going to tell it. They're not going to tell it. They're going to keep praying over it. They're going to keep, you know, um, quoting scriptures over it. And when I say over it, meaning you can't get delivered until you be real. Come on, YouTube. You can't get free until you be real and say, you know what? I'm really in bondage. You know what? My mind is really messed up. Come on. I'm talking to 16 of you right here. Did you click that share button? Come on. Come on. It's not until you be real that you listen, that God free you from every shackle, every chain, every form of bondage, <laughs> every restriction, every barrier. Jesus have mercy. It's too much going on. And you know, right now, where we are right now, people have to make a decision who they're going to serve. Come on. You, many people are right in the middle. They're right in the middle because they know that serving God, they're going to have to give up some stuff. I know I'm telling the truth tonight. Some of y'all don't like the truth though, but the truth going to set you free. Amen. We're in a time right now where you listen. You got to choose this day who you're going to serve. And I'm not talking about serving God for a blessing. Everybody wants finances. I don't know what's wrong with people. If you work three jobs, you're going to get finances. So, so if, that's why you, if that's why you're trying to serve God or you're in Christ for money, you you in, the wrong, you in it for the wrong thing. Say lie. We're going to pause right there and think about it. You in it for the wrong thing. Because I know some broke people that really love Jesus. And when I say broke, meaning they ain't got much. But they know how to be a good steward over what God has given them. And they got the peace of God that surpasses all understanding. And when I say broke, meaning I'm not talking about wealthy. Amen. I'm, I'm talking about those that are just content. You know, the Bible says be content in whatsoever state you are in. Come on. Hallelujah. So you have many people that are trying to find riches. They're trying to find wealth. They're tr Oh, speak Holy Ghost. They're, they're, trying, they're looking for God in all the wrong places. And how many of you know he's not there? He's not there. Matthew 6 and 33, it speaks very clearly. And what does it say? It says, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. So if you need God to add to what you got, seek first his kingdom. And then seek first his righteousness. Come on. We're so quick to say Jesus Christ is Lord, but do we understand his kingdom? Uh-oh, we're so quick to say who he is and the names of God, but do we understand where he is? Do we understand his power? Ha, huh? hallelujah. Do we understand that God is really able to bring us out? But the Bible says, cast your cares upon him, for he careth for you, saith the Lord. So if you don't give him your burden and you carry it all week long, if you don't give, hey, shatanda baha, hallelujah, you don't give God your burden, but you carry it. You don't give him that sickness and you carry it. Come on. You don't give him, you don't give him your flesh. Ah, cause see your flesh got to get on the altar now. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. Our flesh. Somebody may say, well, the Bible says no flesh show glory in his sight. That's a different scripture. God wants you to put your flesh. He wants you to put your, your, yourself on the altar. Not your desires, not what you want. He wants you to put you on the altar. Come on. He wants us to be a living sacrifice according to what? Romans chapter 12, verse 1 and 2. The apostle Paul tells the people, he says, I beseech you therefore now by the mercies of God that you present your bodies a living sacrifice. He said, holy and acceptable unto him, which is your reasonable service. He says, and be not conformed to this world. 
Hallelujah. But be ye transformed, glory to God, by the renewing of your mind that you may prove, hallelujah, what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. See that? See that? The apostle Paul told the people because he knew what it was going to take. He knew that the people had to come out of a form of godliness. Come on, somebody, and denying the power of God. We cannot have a form of godliness and deny his power. Listen, you know how many people want me to shut up? You know how many people, Sister Cardi, want me to stop preaching? I ain't never going to stop preaching. You know how many people say I'm sick and tired of her going on live? Let me tell you, hey, shatanda baha, hallelujah. Let me tell you something. As long as it's breath in my body, hey, hallelujah. And God say, minister my word. I'm going to preach his word. And I'm going to preach it in season and out of season. Hallelujah. I'm going to rebuke. In the name of Jesus, those that need to be rebuked and what spirit needs to be rebuked. See, we got too many leaders that's compromising. I'm going to teach this. I'm just going to say how good God is. I'm just going to preach a prosperity message. Woe unto you. Because if you pay your tithes and give your offering, you're going to be blessed. It's enough of all of this prosperity preaching. That's what's filling up churches. I refuse, hallelujah, hallelujah, to preach to the people of God and tell them where the money is and the wealth is and they soul getting ready to go to hell. Come on, you and your house is, is on your way to hell in a, in a, in a fire basket. Just, just on your way. And it takes a true prophet of God to be able to discern and to see where you are in the realm of the spirit. This is why, this is why prophets, we go through persecution. We go through much persecution. We go through slander, but it's all right. Ha, huh? hallelujah. Cause God, God is covered. And I'm talking about the true prophets. I ain't talking about those of you that say you a prophet and you don't never prophesy. I'm not talking about you. I'm not talking about the disobedient so-called prophets. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking, hey, shatan baha. I'm talking about those who hear his voice and obey. That's who I'm talking about. Come on. And there's not many of us left either. Mm. Did you hear me? It is not many true prophets left. It is not many true prophets left. God bless you, Sister Johanna. It's good to see you tonight. It's been a while. Amen. It's been a while, woman of God. It's been a while. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Listen, it's not many prophets left. And I'm talking about true prophets. I'm talking about true prophets that are speaking the oracles of God. It's not many of us left. Don't, don't get caught up. Don't be bewitched. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. And guess what? Ah, and the true prophets, not only are we speaking the true word of the Lord, we living right. See, God has got his true prophets. We're going to flow tonight. Is that all right? We're we still talking about the remnant. We're still talking about the remnant. Listen, God had, hey, Shatan Baha. He has his holy prophets that he has set apart. See, I, di I didn't get myself to this place. God got me to this place. He stripped me, woman of God, Yolanda. I didn't, I didn't strip myself. See that? See that? I didn't move myself either. God moved me here. Come on. I just, just Listen, if I could have had my way, Sister Ashley, let me tell you something. I, I don't know, but it, it wouldn't be this. And I'm just being honest. Come on. You got to make you got to make your calling and your election sure. But when you give God a real yes, hallelujah, your, your whole entire being belongs to him. From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet <laughs> belongs to God. Everything belongs to him. Come on. So if you're worried about this and you're worried about that and you're worried about opinions of people and you're worried about how people are going to look at you and you're worried about this and you, you're not confident and you, you know, you're not strong in the Lord and you know, your flesh is rising all the time. He can't use you. God can't use you like that. He says it's all or nothing. Hmm. Come on. God is saying in this season for my, for my remnant it's all or nothing. It's all or nothing. I'm glad that I'm hated. I'm glad that people talk about me. Come on, because that means I'm doing something right. I'm glad you hate me. Thank you. Because you ain't doing nothing but pushing me further, further and further to the cross. <laughs> you, listen, you ain't doing nothing but pushing me. Listen, I'm praying longer now. Hey, come on, somebody. I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit all your shenanigans. Thank you. Thank you. Come on. God told the true prophets, don't, don't look at their faces. 
What you looking at the faces of people for? And you supposed to be used by God. What you looking at their faces for? If you look at their faces higher by shape, you're going to be misled. If you care about this, ain't nobody clap for me. Ain't nobody say my name. You in trouble. You in trouble. It's good when they don't clap for you. <laughs> Listen, it's good when you walk in the room, they don't stand up. It is good when they don't honor you. Hiya by shape because it keeps you humble. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Th thank you that I'm hated, God. Huh? Somebody said, wait a minute, what is she talking about? Because we're in a time right now, Sister Ashley, where everybody wants to be liked. Do you know the true prophets are hated? We are so hated, Sister Lashanta. People, listen, they, they even hate when, when you come in the room. They even hate your presence. <laughs> listen, it, it's so many people, um, Elder Arthena, that when you, when you step in the room, you ain't did nothing. You, all you did was follow the assignment that God gave you. That's all you did. That's all you did was follow the assignment and the instruction that God gave you, Elder. And now they hate you. You're like, why you hate me? But you know what? They don't hate you. They hate the God that's in you. <laughs> Come on, Sierra laughing. It's the truth. They, they hate the God that's in you because you're part of the remnant. You're part of the chosen. Listen, even if you tried to get out of it, you can't get out of it now. Hey, because you so deep in it. Hallelujah. Come on. I'm talking to the remnant. I'm talking to the chosen. You so deep in it now. You like God. Hey, I ain't going nowhere. Get used to my face. Get used to hearing my voice. Huh? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, get used to seeing my face and get used to hearing this voice. Which is the voice of God. Because I'm telling you, if he give me a message in the next three hours, I'm going to continue to release his word. I ain't going to stop because his soul's in the balance. See that? Everybody want to do ministry to be seen. Ministry ain't for you to be seen. And better yet, if you ain't saying the right thing and preaching the right thing anyway, why you want to be seen? Why you want to be heard? And you ain't praying the way God told you to pray. You ain't ministering the way God told you to minister. You ain't even singing the way God told you to sing because you want the people to be appeased with you. Come on. Come on. I teach my ministers, tap into the anointed. If ain't no anointing there, you better, you better keep on going until you find the anointing. Until the anointing hits you. Come on, somebody. <laughs> you know, the Bible says there's a way that seemeth right unto a man. But the end thereof is death and destruction. This is why so many people are in a ditch. And they trying to get out. They trying to get out the ditch, elderly. And it's, it's going to take God, using his vessels to pull them out of the ditch. Because guess what? Can I tell y'all the truth? Some of y'all, God ain't even stunting you no more. I'm telling you, some of you praying, some of you quote unquote praying. You talking to God, but there's no repentance. There's no change of heart. So there's no real prayer. See, prayer comes with repentance. My God. Prayer, when you are really in prayer, hallelujah, there's a shifting in your life. Glory to God. There's a change of heart. Woo! There's a change of heart in prayer. And if you just pray your words, this is why Jesus told the disciples, don't pray a repetitious prayer. Stop saying the same thing. He done heard you the first time. He heard you the second time. And he heard you the third time. Hello? You keep saying the same thing. Be real in prayer. Hey, hallelujah. Get deep down and dirty in prayer. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah to the tears that's running down your face. My God, until you got to get some napkins and some paper towels and next to you know, hallelujah, your nose is running. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah, tears is running down your face to where all you can say is, God, I'm sorry, forgive me. And even if it's forgive me, Lord, for doubting you. Even if it's forgive me, God, for not having faith in you. Lord, forgive me for not trusting you. Huh? Can we pray those prayers now? Can we get to that place now? Come on, church. Come on, remnant. Can, can we get to that place? Hiya, Bashay, to where we pray and say, Lord, it's not my mother, not my father, not my sister, nor my brother. It's me, oh God. Hey, it's me, Lord, standing in the need of prayer. Don't, no, I don't, I'm not praying for my neighbor. No, I'm not praying for my family member. Who I'm going to pray for today is myself. And God, I need to be in right standing with you. Hallelujah. Hey, not for you to use me, but for you to get the glory out of my life. 
Because God, if you don't ever give me another word, I'm still going to worship you. If you don't never give me another prophecy, God, I'm still going to praise you. If you, hey, you don't give me another blessing, Lord, I'm still going to bless your name. I'm still going to bless your name. I understand David now. Hallelujah. Hey, Shatan Baha. David had a whole lot of sense, even though he kept on messing up. But see, David knew, glory to God, that he had to get back in right standing with God. And that's where Psalm 51 comes from. Psalm of repentance. Can we get back to that place? Hallelujah. Psalm 51 and 10. David said, create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew within me a right spirit. Because David knew his spirit wasn't right. He knew his hands wasn't clean. Come on, say, Shatanda Baha. Hallelujah. David knew his heart was messed up. He had some bitterness and some anger in here. Come on, somebody. That's why he was able to kill Bathsheba's husband on the front line. Come on, there was some wickedness in there. And David realized, even though he was anointed, and even though he was called to be king, my God, in the name of Jesus, he still understood he had to repent. Can we, as the remnant, get back to that place to where our prayers are real and not fake anymore? God is tired of that. God is tired of redundant prayers. He's tired of fake prayers. I said it. I'm his prophet. I'm telling you what he told me. Come on here. He, he's tired of shake. God is tired of that. There's no freedom for you and there's no freedom for his people. Uh-oh. Uh oh, but I'm praying. I'm saying fancy words. I'm saying a whole lot of words. God ain't stutting that. Jesus told the disciples to pray. In Matthew, I'm getting in trouble, but it's good. Some of y'all don't like me. I love you anyway. I feel it. I feel it tonight. Matthew chapter six. <laughs> I see some of y'all got your bow and arrow cocked back. Talk about I can't stand her. It's all right. It's all hey, Shatan Baha. It's all right. It's okay. Because guess what? You could disconnect at any time. I promise you, we're going to be right back here. Same time, same day. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Sister Ashley, we're going to be right back here. It's all right. You can step away for a few months because you're mad. And then come right on back again. We're going to be right here. We're going to be right here if the Lord shall delay his return. I ain't going nowhere. God's true prophets, we ain't going nowhere. Wipe your camera off and just say, am I really seeing what I'm seeing? Come on, turn the volume up. Am I really hearing what I'm hearing? Yes, you are. Because God's true prophets, we ain't going nowhere. Hey, you trying to kill us and sabotage us? It will not work. Can somebody put in the comments, it won't work. <laughs> hallelujah. Woo, glory to God. It ain't going to work. Hey, hallelujah. It's not going to work. He said no weapon. And he meant that too. When God said no weapon that is formed. Let me slow walk this word. Let me calm down a little bit. Could I go a little too fast, Sister Cardi? They miss it. They miss it. They miss it. No weapon. Hallelujah. God bless you, Prophet Elliot. Amen. No weapon that is formed. Oh, it's going to form. It got to form. Hallelujah. Them demons and them witches and them warlocks got to come against you. You didn't know that? And the devil, he will use somebody so close to you. I need to write a book about that too. Come on, hallelujah, because I've been sabotaged. I've been, I've been ridiculed. Listen, I, I, done, I done had so many Judases. Y'all not ready. Kiss me right on my cheek. So now what they do when they get close to me, you know what I tell them? Kiss me quickly and betray me quickly. Let's get this done and over with because I already know you're going to betray me. After I done paid your rent, after I done helped you, yeah, I already know. Come on, mm, come on here. Holler, after I done talked to you for hours, I know. After I done poured it into you for years, I know you got to just kiss me real quick. Do it real quick and get it over with this time. Come on, because there's so many more people, hallelujah, that I got to help. Ha, huh? you ain't restricting me. You trying to put a lid on God. And let me just, hey, shatan baha. Let me just encourage the three of you that are dealing with warfare right now. People are trying to muzzle your mouth. Oh, God, they're trying to muzzle your ministry. But let me tell the three of you that's going to persevere through the warfare. Hey, hallelujah, God told me to tell you tonight, keep on pressing. He said, keep on going. Keep your ministry going and keep your ministry going strong. Keep it going strong for the Lord. 
Let God be glorified in everything that you do. Hey, hallelujah. Keep on prophesying, even when they don't like it. Oh, keep on encouraging God's people, even when they don't like it. Good. Hallelujah. Because the devil, hey, Shatan Nabaha, he's, oh God, he's playing, but he ain't playing fair. See, he's, yes, Lord, I hear you. Some of you, the, God says that he's using, the enemy is using people that are very close to you to try to hinder the move of God. This is why you got to use discernment and you got to break away. When God tell you to break, mm, there it is again. That word is coming right back around again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You got to break away sometimes, Evangelist Arlene. You got to get away from toxicity. You got to get away from poison. Do you know poison can come through the phone? Come on here. You got to be careful who you listen to. You got to be careful. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Who ministers to your spirit? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And if you got a true prophet in your life, you don't need five prophets. Get out of here. Come on, somebody. You seeking a psychic and a prophet. Uh-oh, it's on the live. You read, you going to the palm reader and to the prophet. Oh, Jesus have mercy. Come on, somebody. He says, choose ye this day who you're going to serve. You either going to serve God or you're going to serve Baal. You either going to serve God or you're going to serve money. Come on here. Because money is getting a lot of people in trouble. I got to tell you what thus saith the Lord. If you are part of the remnant, if you are part of the remnant, if you are part of God's chosen army, let me tell you something. You don't worship money. Hallelujah. Money is going to come to you because the Bible says money answereth all things. You ain't got to chase. Ah, hallelujah. You ain't got to chase nothing. And you surely ain't got to sell your soul to the devil and do something strange for some change. Get out of here. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Somebody shout, I ain't in the world no more. I don't do those things. Come on, somebody. I don't compromise with the enemy. Oh, it's on this live tonight. Hey, hallelujah. God said you ain't got to sell your soul to the devil. Come on here. You ain't got to work two, three, four, five, and six jobs, and you missing church. Come on here. You missing prayer meetings. Come on, somebody, because you so tired. Oh, it's on here. It's on here. Hi, Yabashe. My God, find you a ministry to sow into. Come on, somebody. Find you some good soil. Yes, Lord, I hear you. This is also the time many of you got to find good soil. Listen, if you've been sowing in a place for a year or two years and you ain't received no harvest, you're planting in the wrong place. Sorry, not sorry. You're planting in the wrong place. Hello? This is why people hate this ministry. I don't care, though. Because I tell the truth and shame the devil. You know how many people get free from this ministry? I can't even count no more. And I said, Lord, just send another thousand souls to PIPW ministry. Hey, hallelujah. Whether they step foot in the building or not, just minister to them, God. Even if it's on a Facebook live, even if it's on Instagram. Hey, even if it's on YouTube, God, speak your word. Because you said, God, hallelujah, that your word will go forth and it will accomplish what it is sent out to do. Somebody's going to hear the word of God after a while. Somebody, hallelujah, is going to be compelled to come back to Jesus. And God, hey, Shatan Nabaha, he's not coming after those quote unquote saints. You know who God is ministering to? The atheists. Oh, y'all not ready. See, see, some of you that's been in church for so long, you, 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 listen, you done, mm, yes, Lord, I hear you. You done, you done twisted the word so much so that it can fit for you. And, and that's why some of you, it ain't no change. And I'm talking about those that's been saved in the church for a while. God ain't stunting you no more. It's either you're going to listen or you're not. Oh. He said, I'm coming. Hey, Shatan Nabaha. He said, I'm coming after the sinners now. Hey, hallelujah. Hey, Shatan Nabaha. He said, and my church is going to remain. He said, my remnant is going to remain. He said, but I'm coming after, hey, I'm coming after the sinners now. And I'm using my vessels who are living right. Glory to God. To come after those, hallelujah, that really want me in this season. See, because everybody that say Jesus don't really want him. Hello? Everybody that sing worship songs don't really want him. Come on, everybody that's so-called, quote-unquote, praying don't really want God. Because, see, when you get God, you get change. Woo! Hallelujah. When you get Jesus, you get change. Because guess what? Along with God comes change. You can't tell me it doesn't. Hallelujah. Because he changed me a long time ago. I didn't change myself. He changed me from the inside out, not the outside in. 
Come on here. When, when he beautifies you, glory to God. Let me tell you something. This beauty that you see, hey, listen, I got a little bit of foundation on, but let me tell you something. The light of God and the oil of God, hallelujah, rest upon me. Why? Because he changed me from the inside out. I feel like running around my house now. Hey, hallelujah, glory to God. So when I want to tell somebody off, I can't. When I want to do the wrong thing, I can't. Because I love God too much. Come on, somebody. And I've learned to make a righteous decision. Hallelujah. To follow Jesus 24-7. Somebody might say, how are you going to worship him 24-7? Three, 365 days of the year. Yes, exactly. You're right. You're right. Because he'll give you a strong spirit of discernment when you say yes to him. When you obey him. Come on, Holy Ghost is teaching. He will give you a strong spirit of discernment. You can smell the devil. Hey, God, come on here. You can smell the devil. Oh, see, this, this might be too much for some of y'all. I'm sorry. I, I done got a little excited, Sister Patricia. I, I done got... We talking about Jesus. <laughs> we, we, we talking about the one who's able. Hey, hallelujah. We talking about the one who's able to deliver. Woo, glory. We talking about the one who's able to set you free. Jesus, the lily of the valley. The bright and morning star, the rose of Sharon, the great I am. Hallelujah. He's a will in the middle of a will. Come on, somebody. He's a way maker. Woo. He's a miracle worker. I'm talking about Jesus. I'm talking about the one that's able. So why are you bound? Come on, remnant. Why are you bound? Why are you bound up? Why are you confused? Hallelujah. When confusion is of the devil, I'm talking to the remnant tonight. I'm talking to the chosen vessels of God. Why are you confused? Why are you wavering between two opinions? Hallelujah. When God told you to do something, just do what he told you to do. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. He's going to send the finances. Come on. He's going to send the help. God uses people. Hello? I said he uses people. I said God uses people. Y'all going to catch that memo probably a couple years from now. You're going to say, Apostle Carmen was saying that God uses people, but I really didn't understand because, you know, I thought Jesus was going to come knocking on my door. He's not going to come knocking on your door. I need a T-shirt with that. I'm just saying he ain't going to come knocking on your door. Come on. She says, Apostle, this is confirmation tonight. Come on here. Whatever he told you to do, Remnant, do it. The last thing he told you to do. Thank you so much, elderly. She said, I'm sending stars. Come on, Jesus. I don't even know how to retrieve them, but you can send them. <laughs> I don't even know how to retrieve no stars. Listen, the last set of stars I got elderly last month, they expired. I don't even know how to retrieve them. I'm sorry. So if you send them and it's money, I, listen, I, I don't even know how to, I don't even know how to retrieve them. So you, you do better sending $10. I'm just saying to the cash app. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying you can send stars. Thank you. But I don't know how to retrieve them. <laughs> listen, whoo, glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. The remnant. We are separate from the world. We are separate from the evil one. Hallelujah. We war against the evil one. So you can't be in the remnant. You can't be God's chosen army and you're fighting within the army. You're fighting God's children. You're coming against the move of God. You can't be in the army and fight against the army. <laughs> Listen, you, you, you got a father and it surely ain't father God. I'm just saying, Satan is a father too. You didn't know that? And he has children. Hello? I'm going to make some of y'all mad, but it's a good man. It's some good trouble. Listen, make sure that the devil is not your father. Make sure that Lucifer, Satan, whatever you want to call him, he got many names. And many attributes too. Come on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. That part. <laughs> Come on here. Full of darkness. Hiya by shape. Full of evil. Come on. Children of disobedience. That's what God gave me. And we're going to dive into this word in just about two good minutes after I finish laying this foundation. Because somebody tonight, you need to know if you're going to be the remnant, stand as the remnant now. Can y'all write that in the comments? I'm going to stand as the remnant. I'm going to stand as God's chosen. I'm not going to waver anymore in my faith. I'm not going to let the devil continue to beat me up. Come on, somebody. Do you know who you are? Because when you know who you are, you make better decisions. 
Come on, when you know who you are, the enemy ain't going to keep fighting you but for so long. You're going to pick up your weapons. You're going to put on the whole armor of God. You're going to say, wait a minute, I got to pray. I got to fast. Hallelujah. I got to come out of this. Depression ain't my portion. Hey, hallelujah. But joy is my portion. Come on, somebody. You got to begin to decree and declare that thing over your life. He says, speak those things that be not as though they were. Come on, how bad do you want it? How bad do you want your healing? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Stop singing Jehovah Jireh. Amen. And you want him to provide for you, but you're not trusting him for supernatural provision. God, I believe. God, I trust you. You said if I give, you're going to give it back to me. Good measure, pressed down, shaking together and running over. I trust your word, God. Come on, where's the remnant tonight? Hey, or oh, are you children of disobedience? Where's the remnant tonight? Where's the chosen vessels of God? Come on, where are you tonight? Hey, hallelujah. Come on, somebody. God gave me this word and I'm telling you all, it messed me up again. Because I said, Lord, your people should know who they are by now. And you know what he told me? He said, they don't know. He said, many of my people are confused. Because I'm not moving as quick as they want me to move. Uh-oh, that's for 13 of you. Uh-oh, I hear you, Holy Ghost. Just because God is not moving in a time or fashion that you want him to move, it does not take away from the fact that he's God. The Bible says, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. You shall walk and not faint. Woo, hallelujah. Hallelujah. They that wait upon the Lord. Some of you had to wait for so long. I see you hitting those hearts, Sister Kashina. Hallelujah. God is about to blow the mind of your enemies when he blesses you with this powerful testimony, Sister Kashina. When you get to your place of purpose and destiny, hallelujah, God is about to blow the mind of your enemies. That's why you can't faint. That's why you can't give up. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And it's not to prove anything, but God is going to prove. Ha! Huh? Hallelujah. When you prove him, he's going to prove who he is in your life. Ooh, that's good right there. Hallelujah. We can stop right there in the live. I'm just saying. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. He commanded us. He said, prove, hallelujah, prove me now herewith saith the Lord of hosts and see if I will not open you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing. That you shall not have room enough to receive. See, that's when we tithe. That's when we give. Come on, remnant. Remnant, you ain't, listen, you ain't stingy. The remnant is not stingy. We're not stingy. Come on, we are the biggest givers. Come on, somebody. When you are part of the remnant, can y'all share this broadcast? I'm just saying. If you ain't share, go ahead and share. If you share, go ahead and share it again. Somebody on your timeline that I might not be able to reach needs to hear this the remnant we are the biggest givers hello hello where y'all at can y'all hear me hello 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 <laughs> we ain't stingy we on penny pinch we on ride peter to pay paul and all of that foolishness talking about i ain't got a seed to give this time you a lion wonder you got seed you just don't want to give it so now you done forfeited another blessing why Come on, remnant. It's time to rise. <laughs> Come on, remnant. Hi, about shape. See, the remnant, we on the front line. When you're a part of the remnant, you on the front line. So guess what? When you keep messing up and you keep denying God and his power, he move you to the back. Oh, you didn't know that? And then you got to prove again who he is in your life. And then he moves you back up to the front. But see, some of us, huh? glory to God, are ambassadors. Come on here. I want to talk to the prophets. Some of you are ambassadors, which means you got to stay in position. Ooh, this is good tonight. Mm, hallelujah. Which means you got to stay in position. That's why God is calling many of you to stay in position. It ain't got nothing to do with your title. It ain't got nothing to do with what people call you. Huh? Glory to God. Because it's your spirit that he's, he's going to use, not your flesh. Ooh. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. God, hey, Shatan Baha. He uses, oh, glory to God, the Holy Ghost that's inside of us. That's why you got to keep it. That's why David said, Lord, take not thy Holy Spirit from me. <laughs> Come on here. David kept messing up, but he had enough sense to know. He said, Lord, please don't take your spirit from me. Because God, if you take your spirit from me, I am done. 
See that? See that? <laughs> Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. These are prayers. That the remnant needs to pray. Lord, take not thy spirit from me because I need your spirit, God. I can't make it without your spirit. Can we get back to that place? Come on here. Hallelujah. God bless you, doctor. <laughs> Listen, can we get back to that place? Lord, take not thy Holy Spirit away from me. Hey, can we can we pray like that? I see the numbers dropping because people don't want to change. See that? See that? People don't want to change. Come on, but if I was prophesying houses, cars, babies, and weddings, you would tag Ray Ray, Pookie, your auntie, your mama. Y'all would tag everybody you know in this live if I was prophesying houses, cars, babies, and weddings. Y'all already know. It, it'd probably be a thousand people on here, daughter Kamaya. If I was prophesying houses, oh, yes. Oh, yes. Because everybody wants a blessing. Nobody wants change. But everybody wants a blessing. But do you know when change comes into your life? Can I just encourage seven of you that's really on here because you really want God? It's only seven. Ha, shake. The Lord says seven of you under the sound of my voice. You really want God. Can I just encourage you right here? The Bible says, be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. Ha, ah, glory to God. Knowing that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. Come on here. That when we do something for God, he's glorified. Hey, hallelujah. Because we are steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of God. Come on, hallelujah. He commanded us to be instant in season and out of season. Hallelujah. He told us to stay in position. Be ready. Ah, glory to God. Always be ready. Some of you ain't even ready because you ain't got the word in you. Come on, somebody. You need the word. The devil ain't stutting nothing but the word. He don't care about your opinion. The devil don't care nothing about what you think. If you talking to the devil all day, talking about, I think, well, I think, and this is how they treating me, and this is what they doing to me. The devil laughing at you and laughing with you. He don't care nothing about your opinion. The devil only submits to the word of God. That's why the word got to come out of your mouth. Hey, hallelujah. If it ain't, hey, shatan nabaha. If it ain't the word, it means nothing. This is the time we're in. I'm talking to the remnant. I'm talking to the chosen vessels of God. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. Give God praise right here. Thank God that you, when you are the remnant and you know you're the chosen remnant, that God takes the time to speak to you, to encourage your heart, to tell you to keep going, but you got to keep going in him. You can't go in your own strength. Come on here. Hallelujah. We just came out of a three-day revival. Hey, Shatan Baha, a women's conference. And I thank God on Monday. I said, Lord, I thank you for taking me through Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Come on here. Hallelujah. I thank God even on a Sunday when our services are so powerful and God is moving by way of his spirit. By the time I get home, I'm thanking God for his strength. I'm like, Lord, I thank you. Hallelujah. Because what you just did, God. Hey, Shatan Baha. Hallelujah. Is no way that it could have been done without your spirit. Without the spirit of God. Come on. It takes the spirit of God. To deliver his people. It takes the spirit of God. Woo. To heal his people. Come on here. And if you ain't got the spirit of God and his anointed, you ain't doing nothing. Come on. In him we live. Woo, glory to God. In him we move. Hey, Shatan Baha. And in him we have our being. Yes, Lord. It's in you, God. Hey, hallelujah. This is why people hate this ministry. They don't understand that it's the power of God. It's the anointing of God. Hallelujah. Because when they come up against me and call me all kinds of names, Sister Ashley, I say, Lord, they ain't even got no clue. They don't even know that it's you. Ha, They don't even understand. Hallelujah. The declaration, Sister, Sister Ty, that was spoken over PIPW ministry. God said, I'm going to use my people to heal, <laughs> deliver, and set the captive free. 
That's why you got to know what you connected to. You got to know who you're connected to. Stop joining these ministries and these organizations and you have no idea what's going on. Because guess what? If you come against it, God is going to come against you. Woo! You come against the move of God, he's going to come see about you. You come against his anointed vessels, he's going to come and see about you. Amen. <laughs> come on, Holy Ghost. Hey, Shatan Namaha. He's going to come and see about you. I promise you. I promise you. I promise you. Let me give you all a quick testimony. Can I, can I testify? Because I love to testify because I know it always helps somebody. So let me just testify about me. Let me, let me tell you what happened with me years ago. Can I, can, I, can I be real? Can I be honest to bring somebody out tonight? Because testimony, we, the Bible says we overcome by the blood of the lamb and by the word of our testimony. I want to help about five of you out tonight. Can I do that by testifying? Listen, she said testify. Thank you. <laughs> Listen, I remember when I had joined my former church and I was so excited, you know, about the move of God. Amen. Because I was always his prophet and I always knew you know, the move of God, I always sensed his spirit. I was always sensitive to the Holy Ghost. Amen. Even as a small child, not even knowing, because I was brought up as a Jehovah Witness. Some of y'all know my testimony. Amen. So when I came into the presence of God, hallelujah, it wasn't until I was about, what, 20? I think I was about 20 years old. Right. Amen. When I came into the presence of the Lord. I was always his prophet. I always heard his voice, but it wasn't until I was about 20 years old that I came into his presence. Come on. So once you experience the presence of God, you never forget it. Right. So my former church, my former ministry, before I started serving my pastor, listen to this. As soon as I walked in, I see y'all hitting them hearts, Evangelist Arlene. As soon as I walked in, I knew the anointing of God was there. It was so thick you could cut it with a knife. So I knew I was in the right place. Come on. I told you I'm going to help about five of you out right here because some of y'all need this. Come on. And so I got so excited about the move of God and the Holy Spirit said to me, bring it on down. You in the right place. Come on. He, he said, he said, daughter, bring it on down. You in the right place because I want to use you. Listen, listen. That's why I tell my minister, stop getting so hyped. Calm down. What you falling out for? You about to miss, you about to miss something. Stand up. <laughs> Amen. Because I was there. But the Holy Spirit taught me how to bring myself down and under his subjection. See that? To where you experience his glory, but it don't overtake you to the point to where you, to where you lose it. Lose it meaning you get off focus. Because even in God's presence, do you know you can get off focus? Do, do you know that even when God is moving, oh yeah, because he could be blessing your sister in the corner and you paying attention to her shouting when really the anointing of God is flowing through the building and he want to touch you and heal you. But because you pay attention, uh-oh, uh-oh, because you pay attention to the person that's on the other side of the church, getting their breakthrough and they healing, you done miss God. So it is possible in his presence to miss him. Oh, I just said a mouthful right there. Oh, so many people say, oh, church was good. Church was good. Okay, what happened? What was the word? What did you receive? Oh, his presence was so thick. Okay, did he heal you? Did he deliver you? Did he set you free? Are you running for Jesus now? Come on, are you on fire? The fire of God was released, but are you on fire? Hello? Or did you get distracted in his presence? My God. Come on, Patricia says, Apostle, this is so much confirmation tonight. Look at God. Look at God. I give him glory. I give him glory. So I remember the Holy Spirit talked to me and he said, daughter, I need you to bring it down because I want to use you and I want to teach you. See, that's another thing. When we're in church or when we're in a setting where God is moving, he wants to teach us. Because see, I hear so many people, doctor, you know what they say now? Lord, use me. Lord, use me. Lord, use me. First of all, you need a teacher. Yes, God is the teacher, but if you're not used, if you're not looking to see how he's using his vessel, you ain't going to learn nothing. See that? Somebody shout that part. Somebody shout that part. This is why the Bible says lay hands on no man suddenly. If God ain't anoint you to lay hands, you better not lay hands. 
Because that same spirit, that, that demon that's inside of them that you're trying to cast out is going to speak back to you and say, okay, Paul, I know. Jesus, I know. But who are you? Who in the world are you? <laughs> Come on, doctor. <laughs> the seven sons of Sceva. They tried to, hey, Shatanda Baha'i. They tried to cast them devils out. And them devils looked and was like, wait a minute, you ain't living right. Matter of fact, you living foul. Matter of fact, you got a wife and a girlfriend. Hold on. You a hypocrite. Them demons was talking back. <laughs> somebody may say, what this got to do with the testimony? I'm Listen, somebody catching it. Ah, Jesus, have mercy. Stay in your lane. Put it in the comments. Listen, put it in the comments. Listen, I'm going to stay in my lane. I'm going to stay in my lane. <laughs> stay in your lane. Hallelujah. See, everybody is not anointed to cast out devils. Come on. Everybody is not, is not anointed to lay hands. Read your Bible. Come on, everybody's not anointed. God may not have graced you for that. You might desire it, but that don't mean he graced you for it. See that? See that? So I had to be around a prophet, an apostolic voice. Come on, who was my former leader? And I had to learn from her. Hey, hallelujah. Because I carried and housed the anointing of God. See that? See that when God can trust you, I want to talk to five of you. When God can trust you, ha, huh, he anoints you for his glory, but he gives you a special grace too. See that? So you are graced for your calling. Woo, somebody write that down tonight. Write that down in your notes. I'm graced for my calling. So if he called you to intercede, there's a grace on you to pray. There's a grace, hey, by shape, for you to pray and you see results for people. Come on. Most prophets, hallelujah, we're intercessors. Come on, hallelujah. All prophets are intercessors, but not all intercessors are prophets. Let me say that one more time. All prophets are intercessors. Hello, we have to pray. That's why if you see a prophet and they ain't got no prayer life, you better run like far as gum, okay? And I'm not saying that to be smart. I'm being so serious. Prophets, huh, glory to God. We are intercessors, but not all intercessors are prophets. There's a special grace on your life for your calling. So, Back to the testimony. I had to sit under an apostolic, apostolic voice, a strong prophetic apostolic voice. I thank God for my former pastor. Let me tell you all something. She taught me so much. Listen, sometimes even in her silence. Oh, see that part, that part, that part, that part. Even in her silence, doctor. I'm hey, shatanda behind. Or things I did not understand. I just used to watch her. Come on, how she moved. Glory to God. Hallelujah. How when the enemy came inside the church. Oh, y'all not ready. Y'all not ready. Hallelujah. How she began to, hey, shatan number high. Hallelujah. How she began to just keep her calm and just let the enemy rage, quote unquote. Come on. And to know the timing. Woo, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Of when to say something. See, the Bible's, oh God. Mm. God tells us in his word, amen, he would tell us when to speak and when not to speak. <laughs> Come on here. Hallelujah, because everything don't need to be addressed at that moment. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. I told you I was, I was testifying for five of y'all. Listen, so I was taught the spirit of God. Come on. I was taught. See, so many people want the presence of God. They want the spirit of God. Come on here. They want God to dwell with them always. Let, let me tell you something. Unless you stay in his presence, he will remove himself. Come on. That's just like your temple. Hallelujah. Your temple. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Houses the Holy Ghost. Our bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit. See, maybe this is too much for y'all. Maybe, maybe this, see, I, you know, I came up in holiness, doctor. I look, I don't know. Some of these church folk, I listen, look, I, I'm not being smart. I'm just saying, I don't know which way you came up. I don't, I don't know what you're trying to get from God, but he's a holy guy. He's a righteous guy. He's sovereign. He's supreme. Listen, he did. Listen, mm, he don't play when it comes to sin. Come on, somebody. He tells us to get rid of sin. Ha, huh? glory to God. He told us to, oh God, hallelujah. He tells us to come out from among them and be ye separated, saith the Lord. That's the God that I serve. Because see, once he frees you, and see, I got delivered in my church. I got delivered in my former ministry. Let, let me just help about five of y'all out right here. I got delivered 
And I'm talking about completely delivered. I ain't talking about halfway. I ain't talking about shucking and jiving. I ain't talking about straddling the fence. I ain't talking about, oh, one week I want to be saved and the next week I don't want to be saved because I still want to go to the club. I still want to have, you know, this and that. I still want to have a little drinky drink and I still want to go out and party. No, 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 no. When you serve God, you got to be in business with God. So what happens is he begins to strip you. Come on. He'll put the desire in you to live right. Come on, let me just teach you on the spirit of God. He puts the desire, hallelujah, in you to live right. So if you ain't even got a desire to live right, Holy Ghost say nowhere near you. Uh-oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry, not sorry. If you have no desire to forgive, because see, that's another thing. Because unforgiveness hinders your deliverance. Did you know that? So for those of you that struggle with getting delivered, you got unforgiveness somewhere. I love you beyond. I love you, sweetheart. Let me just pray for you right now, okay? Father, in the name of Jesus right now, God, I lift up beyond, Lord. I ask right now, God, that you cover and keep her there in Philadelphia in the name of Jesus, God. Let your hedge of protection rest upon her from this day forward in Jesus' mighty name. Lord God, I pray right now that you send everything that she has need of, God, that she would not want for anything, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. And Lord, I just ask right now a hedge of protection. I speak Psalm 91 over beyond in the name of Jesus. And God, continue to use her for your glory, God. Continue to encourage others through her mouth in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for her life. And I speak long life over you beyond. In Jesus name, I pray. Amen. And amen. God bless you, sweetheart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so, amen. Glory to God. God wants to use us. And so because he wants to use us, people of God, we have to live right. We got to live right. Amen. Come on. And so if the Holy Spirit is not in you, that's something that you need to desire. Amen. We have to desire the presence of God. We got to desire, hallelujah, the spirit of the Lord to rest inside of us. And not just for, for, for you know, just a moment for us to feel good. No. This should be an eternal prayer. Come on, hallelujah. Th this should be an indefinite prayer. Amen. Lord, I need your presence to stay in me and to be with me. Come on. Come on. I'm talking to the chosen now. I'm talking to the remnant. This ain't everybody. Now, if you a church goer and you like the church hopping, you just like church and you just like music and you just like, you know, to preach word every now and then or prophecy. I'm not talking to you. you. You just like to feel good every now and then. You a crackhead in the spirit. I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the remnant and I'm not being smart, but we got a lot of church goers, but don't want change. So, so let me ask you this chosen, the chosen vessels of God, the chosen generation. Let me ask you this. When the trumpet sounds, yes, Lord, I hear you. When the trumpet sounds, will you be caught up to meet him in the air? If God was to blow to his trumpet in the next five minutes, would you go up? Something to think about, right? Come on. Would you go up? The only thing that's going to have you to go up it's his spirit. Read your Bible. It's because of his spirit inside of us. Hey, that we're going to rise at the sound of the trumpet. The trumpet is going to call your spirit. You didn't know that? Huh? The trumpet is what's going to call. Somebody shout, that's revelation. That's revelation. Somebody shout, the, hey, shatan the Baha'i. Somebody shout, that's revelation, that's revelation, that's revelation. That's revelation. When the trumpet sounds, hallelujah, hallelujah, hey, glory to God. And only the remnant are going to be able to hear the sound. The sinner ain't going to be able to hear the sound. The backslider ain't going to be able to hear the sound. And somebody may say God is married to the backslider. Yes, he is. Only when the backslider comes back to God is the covenant sealed. The backslider has to come back to God. The Bible says, hallelujah, that he's married to the backslider, which means there's a covenant. Huh? That's why you got to keep on preaching. That's why you can't worry about the faces of people because there's always souls in the balance. It's always a backslider. Hallelujah. In the midst of God's people. That's why I don't stut people. I don't stut the so-called sanctified saints that can't live right. They can't forgive. Come on, somebody. They can't love right. In the name of Jesus. I'm not studying those. Woo. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. God is coming for the sinner. He's coming. Oh, God. For those, hallelujah, that really don't believe him. That's who he's coming for. But he's using his holy vessels to do it. My God, in the name of Jesus. Come on, Pastor Kim. Hallelujah to the glory of God. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. So he's sanctifying us again. He's purifying us again. He's washing us over and over and over again. Let's get back to the trumpet because I hear the sound. Ooh, hallelujah. I said, I hear the sound. Yes, God, I hear the sound of the trumpet. Ooh, yes, God, the trumpet will sound. I'm talking to the remnant, but do you have his spirit? To where you will rise at the sound of the trumpet. Oh, is it all kinds of mess in your body? Is it all kinds of mess in your spirit? Woo! You cussing, fussing, and fighting. And the Holy Ghost done stepped out of you. Hey, God. Hallelujah. And now you need him to dwell back inside of you. That's that impartation. Hey, God. That's why the Bible says after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you, you shall receive power. That's why you got to go to church. That's why you got to stay in his presence. That's why you got to surround yourself with Holy Ghost filled people. Woo, hallelujah. My former church was full of nothing but saints. And I'm talking about Holy Ghost filled saints. I'm talking about praying mothers. Hey, Shatan Baha. That's why when I see mothers that don't pray, I'm like, what? You ain't no church mother. We got a church mother. Come on, somebody. Where Mother Addie at? She probably sleep right now. I don't know if she on the live, but we got a real church mother. Woo, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, beyond. Come on in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Just give him your heart tonight. Just give him your heart tonight, baby girl. Just give him your heart tonight. Just say, Lord, I give you my heart again. I surrender to you, God. Hey, in the name of Jesus. Come on. It's just that simple. Lord, I repent. I come clean before you, God. Forgive me, Lord, and be Lord of my life again, again, and again, and again, and again. That's it. That's all you got to do. Hallelujah. 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 There are so many people that need to come back to God before it's too late. Mm. Hallelujah. This is why God says we shall not have a form of godliness and deny his power. See, it's one thing looking churchy. Looking churchy is all right. Hey, Shatan Baha. But when your heart is far away from him, it's a problem. It's a problem. Come on here. It's a problem. Ha. Huh? When his presence is moving. Hallelujah. His spirit is moving and, and ain't nothing moving in you. Hey, God. Come on. Somebody got to pump you up to worship. They got to pump you up to praise God. Something is wrong because you should be worshiping him Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Come on. I'm talking to the remnant. Come on, I'm talking to the chosen vessels of God. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. Come on. It's time to get right so we can go home. Hey, Shatan Baha. Hallelujah. Listen, we are pilgrims, the Bible says, passing through. Oh, we just passing through here. You didn't know that? We are just passing through this place. This ain't your home. This ain't my home. Uh, listen, uh, no, mm -mm. no, this, this ain't my home. No, I know where I belong. <laughs> Seated in heavenly places. Hey, God. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Judging. Hey, Shatan Baha. Read your Bibles. Read your Bible. Read your Bible. Those that are righteous are going to be on the right hand. Judging. Read your Bible. Oh, I already know. God already told me. But it's according to how I live here in the earth. It's according to how I handle ah, his anointing and his mantle. Come on, somebody. It's according. Because you can know something, but are you using it in the right way? I hear you, God. Some of you know that you're called and you know that you're chosen, but you got to use it in the right way. Come on. You, you have to use it in the right way. Somebody may say, I don't understand. Apostle, break it down. Okay, I hear you tonight. It's all right. I'm going to break it down for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. We're just pilgrims passing through. Come on, that beautiful house you got, that ain't that ain't your mansion. Ha! Ah, come on, somebody. I know I got a nice car, and I got a nice house, but no, 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 no. I have a mansion. D -d 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 mm, come on, somebody. <laughs> Hallelujah! Woo. The Bible says laid up. <laughs> For us is a crown of righteousness. Come on, remnant. Where you at tonight? Hey, somebody need to shout. You need to shout in your house. You need to shout in your bedroom. You need to give God praise right here because the Bible says laid up for us. Hey, is a crown of righteousness. Woo! And I seen my crown. 
a while ago. He showed me my crown. Mm, glory to God. I give God praise. Yes, God. I said, I give God praise. He showed me my crown. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. I'm talking to the remnant. I'm talking to the chosen vessels of God. I'm talking to you tonight. Hallelujah. It's time to do the work. And if you don't know what the work that he has called you to do, sit under somebody. Get in position to sit for a while. It's nothing wrong with sitting. Come on, it's nothing wrong with that. Hiya bashe. Come on. Hallelujah. Ruth told Naomi, listen, your God shall be my God. Wherever you go, that's where I'm going, Naomi. I'm, I'm going to be right there because I realize that I really don't know as much as I think I do. Come on. Hallelujah. So I had to glean. I'm back to the testimony. I had to glean off of my former pastor. I had to glean off of her. Hallelujah. I didn't mind being humble and sitting. Amen. At her feet because she was full of wisdom. Come on, don't be afraid to sit at somebody's feet that is full of wisdom. Come on, don't be so high and mighty. Talk about, I don't, I don't, wanna, I don't, I don't listen to nobody. Can't nobody tell me nothing. What's that song? Long as I got King Jesus, I don't need nobody else. Well, what's going to happen when you need somebody to pray for you? You're going to be high and mighty then? You're not going to reach out and say, can you pray for me? Can you pray with me? Come on, because the remnant, we pray with each other. The Bible says there's power in agreement. Hey, come on, somebody. This is why I have a ministry team. Because I could do ministry all by myself. But I have a ministry team to touch and agree. Somebody going to catch that maybe tomorrow. Come on. I have a ministry team. Hiya, bashe. Because, see, I could do ministry all by myself. I I've been doing it. Me and my children, we can do it and do it very well. But I have a ministry team to touch and agree. Hello? There's power in agreement. Ha! Huh? And the Bible also says one can chase a thousand. Woo! See, once you start dealing with demons. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I'm about to help about 10 of y'all right here. Once you start dealing with demons. On that realm right there. One can chase a thousand. Somebody need to catch this. That's why I don't need no patty cake prayers. Don't pray no patty cake prayer around me. Don't pray no patty cake prayer for me either. Hey, you got to know that you are packed with power. You got to know that you armed and dangerous too. You got to know that God has given you weapons. Hey, and if you don't know the weapons that you got, like the woman that God said, you're going to shoot yourself in the foot with your own weapon. Because <laughs> you don't know the weapon you got. You don't even understand. Come on here. So I have a ministry team. Hallelujah. To touch and agree. We get more done like that. Come on. Hallelujah. More, more people can be saved. Y'all not listening to me tonight in the Holy Ghost. Come on. God can touch more people. Huh? Glory to God. In the name of Jesus. Where there's unity, there is strength. See that? One can chase a thousand demons and two can put 10,000 demons to flight. That's what that scripture means. That's the revelation. Somebody shout, that's the revelation. Yeah, yeah. And how do we know? Because if you go to Psalm 91, let me help you out right here. Go to Psalm 91 because I'm not just going to tell y'all everything. I want, I want to take you to the word. Let me take you to, to Psalm 91 so you can believe me. Hallelujah. When God's hey, Shatanda Baha, when God speaks about thousands. Come on. Let, let me take you to Psalm 91 real quick. Mm-hmm. This gonna help you right here. Ah, glory to God. Hallelujah. Psalm 91. We're gonna start reading at one. Is that all right? God bless you, Pastor Rita. Apostle Rita. God bless you, woman of God. It was so nice to meet you at the conference. So nice to meet you, woman of God. Amen. I look forward to connecting to Apostle Rita. Amen. Psalm 91 and 1. It reads, And he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Verse 2. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him will I trust. Uh huh. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. Uh huh. He shall cover thee with His feathers and under His wings shalt thou trust. Uh huh. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Verse 5. Thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day. Verse 5 was for about six of y'all. The Lord said, yeah, mm-hmm. Let, let me read it again. Let me read it again for those of you that are fearful. Ha! Ah, let, let me read it again. I'm trying to get down to verse 7, but I hear God saying to stay at verse 5 because some of y'all fearful. Come on, as the remnant, you can't be fearful. God has not given us the spirit of fear. I need y'all to share this broadcast. Can you click that share button one more time? Listen. 
God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Come on, you got a sound mind. And sometimes, Ashley, I teach my members, lay hands on yourself. When the devil is playing tricks on your mind and you, you becoming fearful, lay hands on yourself. I have a sound mind. I have a sound mind. Ain't nothing wrong with me. Come on, I don't care what they tell you. I don't care what your family speak over you beyond. Uh-uh. I have a sound mind. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And so let's go to five again. We're going to read it again. Thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by night. Woo. I feel that for somebody. Nor for the arrow that flieth by day. Let me help the five of you out that's receiving this right here. The enemy is shooting arrows at you all day long. You think that's a migraine headache just because? You sitting there talking about, oh my goodness, my head just hurt out of nowhere. You think? No, it's witches and warlocks praying against you. Come on. I'm talking to the remnant. I'm talking to the chosen. The devil don't like you. Hello? That's the memo for the day. Did you know that? Satan don't like you. He don't like... <laughs> he don't like nothing about you. He don't even like the fact that you was born. Okay? <laughs> he that Listen, uh... Saints going to get it. They, they going to get it after a while. They, they going to get it after a while. She said I had a headache all day. See that? There's a confirmation. God always sends confirmation beyond. It was the enemy coming against you. Come on. Come on. Thank you, doctor, for your prayers. Thank you. Thank you. Listen. I'm going to read verse 5 again. Thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day. Verse 6 nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, uh-huh, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. Be very, very careful around 12 o'clock. Can I just teach for a minute? 12 o'clock indicates that you made it through the morning. When 12 o'clock hit, that, 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 that's a good time. You're like, oh, it's noon, it's the afternoon. Thank you, Lord. No, you, you made it through the morning. Come on. Thank God that you made it through the morning. That's what noonday represents. Come on. Let me just teach real quick. I'm going to read it again. Nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness. So that's the nighttime. Going into the morning. Catch it. Nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. Come on. Now seven is what I wanted to hit tonight. A thousand shall fall at thy side. Mm. And 10,000 at thy right hand, but it shall not come near thee. A thousand what? 10,000 what? Demons. They shall fall at your side. Woo! Hallelujah. Somebody shout, oh, because I'm, I'm part of the chosen remnant. I, I'm, I'm God's chosen vessel. Yes. Yes. Let me read it again. A thousand shall fall at thy side. You packing power that you don't even know you got. <laughs> I got I got I got to get I got to get hood right here right now. Listen, I, you know, mm, I, I still got Philly in me. Listen, I <laughs> You know, Philly, we we fight. Listen, I you know I come from a place where you had to fight in the natural. This these were my BC days. Let me tell you something. And we weren't scared either. Oh, you came to jump me? Okay, let's go. Cuz out of the three of you two going to catch it. Huh? Go ahead and blink so I can just punch you right in your face. Go ahead. Go ahead. Why you? Why you? <laughs> Somebody say, Apostle, you used to fight. Uh-huh. Let's go. That's my BC day before Christ, Sister Melissa. I see you hitting them hearts. We don't fight no more, right? <laughs> Come on. We fight the good fight of faith. I'm just saying. So if you was a fighter in the world, ha, why are you scared now? What you scared of? What you so afraid of? Somebody came to you with an issue or a problem. You was ready to go toe to toe. But now you in the kingdom, you a punk. Huh? She said, I need that on a t-shirt. Come on. What you scared of? 
Some of you should be at the place where you say, devil, take your best shot. Hey, you tried to kill me a long time ago. And then you tried to kill me again. And then you tried to kill me again. And then you tried to kill me again. I have overpowered that attack. I, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I overpowered the last attack. Take your best shot, devil. Let's go. Because I done learned, I done learned how, exactly how you, you going to come. Come on. Hallelujah. Because when you got two boxers in the rink. Can I just teach real quick? <laughs> Come on, you, you got two fighters in the rink. Before they get to the rink, they watch each other. Woo! I'm talking to the remnant tonight. I ain't talking to no punks. Listen, you a punk, you get off this live. I'm not talking to you. Holy Ghost is, hey, Shatan Dabaha. He's trying to equip you even the more to keep fighting. And not in the, in the natural, but in the spirit. Come on, you got two fighters in the rink, but before they get to the rink, they study each other, right, Beyond, Come on. I used to watch boxing all the time. I loved it. I loved boxing, Sister Latoya. I, I had to let it go for a minute because I was like, it was just too much. <laughs> I'm like, get him. <laughs> Left hook, right hook. Come on, two-piece. What's your problem? <laughs> I'm like, oh, you a punk. <laughs> Come on. So I had to give up boxing. You know, I had to give it up. That's, those were my BC days. I'm just saying. So, they study each other. This is in the natural. All right? This is in the natural. Two boxers, two fighters, they're studying each other. They're watching. They're watching videos of, of their style, how they move. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. That's why you got to keep your eye on your enemy. Hey, God. Come on here. Hallelujah. I tell the devil, I know you're watching me. I'm watching you too. I see you. Oh, I ain't keeping my eye. I ain't, I'm not taking my eye off you. Hey, and because I'm a prophet, he's going to tell me stuff when I'm asleep. Hi, Yabashe. How you really trying to attack me, devil? I, I get it. Come on, somebody. Mm, 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 mm. Woo, this is good, right, Sister Ann? Listen, oh, she just getting on. I'm sorry. I thought she was on with us. <laughs> some of y'all, listen, hey, some of you like, I'm ready. I'm ready. Come on, I'm locked and loaded. Let's go. Let's go, devil. Let's go. Come on here. Some of you need to take back your authority. Some of you, yes, Lord, I hear you. Your children are fighting. Hallelujah. But God says, hey, Shatan Baha. He says, now you need to teach your children how to fight. Come on, you know how to fight in the realm of the spirit. Teach your kids how to fight now. Come on. So you got the two boxes, right? Before they get in the rink, they study each other. Come on, the coach is like, okay, you know what? I'm going to put three tapes in front of you this day. I'm going to put five tapes in front of you that day. I I'm going to show you, you know, how they move and what's, what's, their, what's their, their blow, you know, to get that TKO, you know, to get that knockout. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Oh, they got, a, they, got a, they got a quick right hook? Watch that. Come on. So this is what the coach does, and, our, and the coach is our Holy Ghost. <laughs> Come on. Hallelujah. In the natural glory to God, a fighter that's getting ready to box has a coach. But see, when we in a fight, mm, come on, somebody, it's the Holy Spirit. Woo, glory to God. That is teaching us and showing us, hallelujah, how to pray in the spirit, how to war against the enemy. Ah, glory to God. Come on, somebody. I'm talking to the remnant tonight. I'm only talking to the remnant. <laughs> I'm only talking to the chosen vessels tonight. Listen. You know who you are because you listening attentively. You're like, come on, Holy Ghost. Give me some more, God. I need it. I need it. Ah, hallelujah, because I know where you're getting ready to take me, God. I need it. I need this arsenal. Mm. Hallelujah. We just came out of our women's conference, Armed and Dangerous. God, I need a little bit more. I need a little bit more, God. That's what some of y'all saying. Uh-huh. I hear you in the realm of the spirit. God is giving it to you tonight. So you got the two boxes. They studying each other, right? Come on. Now it's time for the fight. Hey, so they get in the rink. And let me tell you this. This is in a natural. They get in the rink and they stare at each other. They look eyeball to eyeball. Stop taking your eye off the enemy. Stop looking down when the devil looking at you. Stop looking over to the left. I, I know the devil watching me, but I'm, I'm going to look over here. Stop looking to the right. Uh -uh -uh -uh. Mm. You look straight. Oh, it's on now. All this training I done did. Ooh, I hear God tonight. Mm, all this training. Hold on. Six months of training. I done lost sleep. I had, to, I had to change my appetite. I had to exercise. I had to work out. I had to run up hills. Come on. Oh, it's on now. All I had to give up. Ooh, 
Come on, somebody. And some of you, yes, Lord, I hear you. You had to sleep in places you ain't want to sleep in. Come on, speak, Holy Ghost. Some of you had to take jobs, hurry up, I shake, that you really didn't want to take. Come on, because the devil was fighting your finances. Come on, hallelujah. Some of you had to go places you really didn't want to go. Woo, that was a part of your training. Mm. So now it's time to fight. Now it's time to war. <laughs> and you got to show up to the fight too. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Somebody ever call you out in school? And they be like, meet me in the front of the school by the fire hydrant. And you like, oh, okay. All right, three o'clock. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I got you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know how we used to do, yeah. <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Three o'clock by the fire hydrant. Now here are your friends. They like, you sure you gonna go? Your girlfriend's like, you, you, you really gonna fight her? You know you got the instigators, right? Then you got the ones, girl, go ahead. They pushing you and everything. Come on. But you made it to the fight. Because guess what? If you get on the school bus or you walk the other way, oh, that bully coming for you. <laughs> my father always taught me. I thank God for my dad. <laughs> he said, don't you ever back down. Hi, I'm about shape. Now, I thank God for him, Sister Latoya, but I wish he would have never told me that. And even fight him to the white meat, I wish he would have never told me that either. <sighs> I'm just saying, I had to pause for a minute. Anybody ever had some uncles or, you know, your grandfather or, you, you know, you had some cousins? They like, look, don't you ever back down. When I get on the scene, you better you better not be on that ground. Maybe this too real for somebody. Maybe this, this too real for y'all. This, this too real for some of y'all. Hmm. Come on. I had a cousin. My cousin, she told me, she said, listen, you, when I get there, I'm on my way. You better not be on that ground. She said, if you if you on that ground, I'm going to beat you up. I was like, oh, no. <laughs> Fighting to the blood. <laughs> oh, yeah, my dad told me to fight to the white meat. And I was like, Dad, what is the white meat? He said, just keep on hitting them. Just keep on hitting them. You're going to see it. I, I, you know, I, I don't know why my dad told me that, but it, it stuck with me. You know, it just, it just stuck with me. <laughs> But guess what? <laughs> I wasn't a punk no more. Come on. Getting bullied in school. I wasn't a punk no more because I had a coach. Now, this isn't a natural. My daddy was my coach. He said, don't you ever. Hallelujah. Don't you ever let them see you being fearful. If you fearful, you better swallow that. Or don't you let your enemy see you be fearful. Huh? So let's get back to the two boxes in the ring. First thing they do, you got the ref talking. Come on, y'all know the game, right? Y'all know the fight, right? You got the ref talking. You got the, you know, the, everybody, the fans, they cheering on the side. But but the two fighters are looking at each other. They zeroed in on each other. One fighter is saying, I got this game. I got this fight. The other fighter is saying, no, I got this fight. Hold on. I've been, I've been studying you. I've been, ah, shake. I've been watching you, devil. Come on. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. And God is saying that's just like the enemy. You got to study the enemy just like he's studying you. Do not be not deceived um, of God's um, Lord. Give it back to me. The scripture that says, God, oh, yes, Lord, I hear you. God will not leave us ignorant of Satan's devices. What does that mean? God will show you where the enemy is. Come on. He will, if you ask him, he'll show you. Now, if you don't know where your enemy is, ask him. That needs to be on your prayer list. Come on, I'm talking to the remnant. I'm talking to the remnant. We don't pray amiss. We don't pray around the corner and all of that stuff and down the street and all that. We hit the target. You don't know where your enemy is. You say, Lord, show me where my enemy is. Now, when he show you, it might baffle you. When he show you who the enemy is working through, Sister Melissa, you might be like, oh my goodness. Because it might be somebody next to you or close to you. Come on. Come on. Come on. She said, God bless you for being obedient to the Lord. This touched my heart and was taken and was awakened from the Lord. Wow. Wow. God bless you. It's daughter of the King 17. What's your first name? What's your first name that just that just posted that comment? 
To God be the glory. To God be the glory. She said I was. Wow. 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 We thank God for confirmation. Listen, let's just dive in real quick. Whoo. Hallelujah. My belly is still on fire and it's still filled up. So I got to keep going. Amen. So what is the remnant? What is the remnant? What is the remnant? You got to understand who you are. And when you understand who you are, that you're the chosen remnant of God, you have a better understanding of the attacks. All right. She said, nothing surprises me anymore. Living evil last days. Come on, Sister Tracy. And listen, just like God needs a body for his Holy Spirit to rest in, the devil. Okay, Jazz, Jazlyn, Jazlyn, God bless you, Jazlyn. The devil just needs a body to use. So this is why you got to be careful that the enemy doesn't use you. All right. That you stay close to God so that God can use you for his glory. Because there's a thin line between divination. Listen, there's, there's a very thin line and many people are crossing that line. You can go from being chosen one day to now coming against the chosen. I said it earlier, right? That in the army of God, you can't be the one attacking those that's in the army. You can't do that because God's going to push you out. And guess what? He might not welcome you back in because you, you can't come against his army. You, you listen, you ain't strong enough. You ain't big enough. Let me tell you something. You do better just submitting and saying, okay, Lord, here I am. How you want to use me, God? You want to use me to clean the bathroom? I'll clean the bathroom. You want to use me to hold the door, God? I'll hold the door. Okay. I miss my position. I miss walking in authority, but you know what? As long as I'm in the midst, God, please don't, don't forsake me, Lord. See, because there's a changing of the guards. Speak, Holy Ghost. There's a changing of the guards, Remnant. Listen, there's a changing of the guards. And what you won't do, God will raise somebody else up to do it. Do you hear me? Come on. Your kingdom assignment is important. Come on. And if you don't know your kingdom assignment, first find out who you are. Because when you identify, hallelujah, with who you are in the kingdom of God, God will teach you your assignment. Come on. He'll show you what he's called you to do. He ain't called you to be a gossiper either. He ain't called you to be a slanderer either. He ain't called you to be a talebearer. Come on. He ain't called you to start telling lies and all of that. That's the devil. So if you find yourself doing that, you're out of his will. Come on, I'm talking to the remnant. I'm talking to the chosen, right? Come on. So we have to stay close to God so that he can continue to teach us his ways. Come on, we, we have to stay connected to God. Hallelujah. So that he can continue to use us for his glory. Amen. Because if not, it's easy to cross over and be used of the devil. Come on. Come on. The enemy is slick and sly. He ain't playing fair. Amen. So, chosen. The remnant. The remnant is a small remaining quantity of something. I'm giving you all the definition of the remnant. Y'all give me five more minutes and so we're going to exit. Everybody needs to get their best seed in their hand. Listen, if we was in church, amen, you can give cash, amen. But those of you on social media, y'all already know. Cash app, PayPal, Venmo. We ain't got Venmo yet. <laughs> Zale, amen, glory to God. However you want to sow on tonight, amen, get ready to sow your seed. I know the numbers is going to drop, but that's okay. Amen. I'm only talking to the remnant and the chosen tonight. That's it. Amen. So I only expect the chosen and the remnant to be sowing tonight. Amen. Glory to God. And so once again, the remnant is a small remaining quantity of something. It is those who have lasted. All right. The remnant, we are the ones who have lasted. In other words, we have stood the test of time. Listen, we've been thrown on the side of the road, left for dead. Come on, the chosen, the remnant, we have been through some stuff. And the way that you know the chosen and the remnant of God, when you listen to their story, most people have died from it, but you survived it. Come on, Debbie says, I'm a warrior. Come on, you, you better speak it. Listen, come on, right beyond? Because some people have died from what you survived. Mm, my Lord, that's a praise right there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Most people, amen. God bless you, Sister Tot, tonight for your seed. Amen. Listen, most people have died and left here from what you and I survived from. Come on. Or better yet, they're still here and they cuckoo and crazy. They're not even in their right mind. 
Come on, they're, they're, they're not even in their right mind, but you are. It was only by the grace of God that he kept you. Come on, because he knew, hallelujah, God bless you, doctor. Amen. He knew, glory to God, that there was purpose for your life. Amen. Come on. Hallelujah. Let me give you all the rest of the definition. It's going to bless you. Another definition of remnant means unsold mm, or unused, an unused piece of cloth. Catch the revelation. Catch the revelation. The remnant is unsold. We can't be bought. My God, we, we cannot be bought. <laughs> Listen, this, this right here, this word, I'm telling you, when I studied this and God gave it to me, I was shouting in my house, y'all. I was so encouraged because guess what? When you are the remnant, you cannot be bought. You ever had somebody try to buy you and you know their motive wasn't pure or they tried to give you a certain amount of money, you know, or they tried to pacify you or they tried to, you know, to be conniving and you knew it. The Holy Spirit showed you their motives are not right. And God said, back away from them. Come on. Hallelujah. God said back. Hey, Shatanda Baha. God said back away from him because you cannot be bought. See that? See that? So you escape the enemy's plan. Ha. Ah, come on. Catch the revelation. Every time you do that, you escape Satan's plan. Woo. Teach Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Because it's God who blesses us financially. You don't need the devil's money. Ha. Ah, come on here. <laughs> Hallelujah. Do you hear me? You don't need the devil's money. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Woo, glory to God. This is an awesome teacher tonight. Listen. So we are unsold, which means we can't be bought. It means also an unused piece of cloth. We cut from a different cloth. Come on. We are cut from a different cloth. You know how some people say I'm the black sheep of the family? I don't like to say that. I don't. I just say we're chosen, right? But some of you use that terminology. I'm not going to knock it tonight. Amen. Because some of you say, you know what? I know I'm the black sheep of my family. In other words, I'm the one that catches the slack for everything for my family. You ain't did nothing. You ain't said nothing. But for some reason, they just don't like you. <laughs> but they watch everything you do. They watch your life. Come on. And, and, and guess what? In secret, they'll come to you for advice. That's how you know you're chosen. Come on, in secret. Oh, y'all not ready. <laughs> Hallelujah. I told y'all in the beginning, my family, Jehovah Witnesses, right? But in secret, there was some of them that would come to me. Come on, because they knew I heard from God. And they knew I had a prayer life. Oh, y'all not ready. Come on. So because of that, amen, that they'll come to you in secret. Come on, Marie. They'll never tell the, the rest of the family that they came to you for advice. Or that they came to you for prayer. Or that they came to you for counseling. <laughs> Come on. Or they came to you to get some money. And guess what? You told them, here, take this $100. I don't want it back. Somebody shout that part. Somebody shout that part. Because when we are the chosen, we don't, we don't, listen, we don't even want people to be bound up. Come on. Cho hey, shatan baha. When you are chosen, listen, if you know somebody need 500 and you got it, you would tell them, listen, keep it. Continue to do good. Pay your bills. Listen, you got it. I don't want nothing back. Oh, I feel the Holy Ghost. Come on. When you are chosen, I'm just saying, come on here. Because you don't want, hey, shatan da baha. You don't want nobody to feel bound because of you. That's because we the remnant. See that? But we don't hold people in the box. Oh, you owe me. And you owe me this. And you owe me that. And so-and-so owe me this. And so no, that keep you bitter. That, that keeps you bitter. <laughs> Come on here. You got to be able to smile every day. Come on. You got to be able to wake up and say, Lord, here I am. Use me for your glory. Hey, hallelujah. No malice in my heart. No bitterness in my heart. Come on. The person might owe you a thousand dollars from a year ago and you might see them and you like, you know what? How you doing? How you been? You all right? I remember the last situation. You know, you had a problem with your home and you couldn't pay your bills. How you doing? You all right? You ain't telling them, oh, you owe me this amount of money. You owe me that amount of money. You're not telling them that. Mm -mm. you're really concerned about them because that's why you bless them. Come on, chosen. Come on, remnant. <laughs> Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. See, you're, you're understanding now really who you are. And you're understanding because you're chosen why God made you that way. 
See, some of you, yes, Lord, I hear you. We're going to go here for about two minutes. Some of you, you really didn't, you growing up, you didn't, you really didn't like the way that you were because you, you just cared about everything. See, as the chosen remnant of God, we care. We care a whole lot. And sometimes we care too much. That's why you got to be careful because there, people will come in your life to try to use you. Right. So, so we can be nice, but not naive. Write that down in your notes. It's okay to be nice, but don't be naive. Come on. Naive means that you know a person is, is a thief or they coming to use you and you just, you, just, you just give it to them anyway. And then you just keep on doing it, keep on doing it. That's being naive. God says it's okay to be nice, but don't be naive. Amen. Marie says, I still struggle. Come on, this word is for you, Marie. I speak the anointing to say no over your life, Marie. Mm -hmm. No is a gift. You didn't know that? Come on. Once you tell one person no, let me tell you something. You're going to be strengthened to tell the next person no. And they're going to be like, what happened with Marie? And guess what's going to happen, Marie? They still going to talk about you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We just hit something right there. See, because they're talking about you anyway, Marie. The Spirit of the Lord is telling me to tell you whether you do it for them or not, they still going to talk about you. Hey, get free tonight. Mm, hallelujah. That's for somebody else on Facebook. They're still going to talk about you. Whether you give them the money or whether you help them out or not, whether you go rescue them and they need a ride and they stranded, they're going to talk about you whether you come or not. <laughs> you didn't know that? They're still going to talk about you. So give them something to talk about. Give them something new to talk about. Marie started saying no, for real? Girl, I ain't asking her for nothing. Good. Now you can help somebody that really need help, Marie. See, yes, Lord, I hear you. God will free us up. <laughs> Sister Todd, he's freeing you up. I know it hurts, but he's freeing you up to help those who really need help. Come on. God will free. Hey, he will free you up to really help people that really need help. Come on. Because you can be tied up with people. They don't mean you no good. And guess what? They'll leave you like hotcakes and talk about you. You could do everything for them. See, that's the children of disobedience. That's them devils. <laughs> Come on here. That's them devils. Come on. Some of y'all got some devils in your life. Get them devils out your life by saying no. And do you know goodbye is a gift too? Uh-oh, I'm getting in good trouble tonight. I feel a release for somebody. Do you know goodbye is a great gift? Give them the gift of goodbye. Goodbye. Written. <laughs> and not I see you later either. Goodbye. That's a gift. <laughs> so give them the gift of goodbye. <laughs> Listen. Ha. Ha. Ya by shape. Even while you crying with tears down your face. Goodbye. All right. This season is up. I decree and declare now that this season is over. Come on. You have the authority to do that. God has given you. Whew, I know. I know, Sharon, this is tight, right? But it's right tonight. God has given you the authority to say no. Use it. Stop being nice to devils. Stop being nice to demons. I'm telling you, they're going to talk about you anyway. Hear me in the Holy Ghost, please. Come on, it's going to save some of y'all. I promise you, it's going to save some of your money too. Now you can give to the church instead of giving to them heathens. Did I say it? I did. Heathen is in the Bible. <laughs> they heathens. <laughs> They're going to talk about you anyway. No, seriously. Seriously. I know some of y'all crying right now. Just, just dry your tears. They, 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 they're heathens. And they don't mean you no good either. You know, some people are malicious. They have, the, they have a malicious spirit, you know, and they know that you're nice. And you're going to give to them and you're going to help them and you're going to pray for them and you're going to be there for them. And they know that. They know that because you're part of the chosen remnant. And it's hard to say no when you are a giver. See that? So because I'm a giver, when I come across givers, I have a few givers in my ministry. I talk to them like this. Only give what God tell you to give. I talk to givers like that. I have a few givers in my ministry. And listen, sometimes they want to give so much, Pastor Kim. And I'm like, give what God tell you to give. I know. I know you want to give above that 
If God told you to give above that, then that's what you do. But see, because I'm a giver, I know what it's like to be abused. You see that? So I cover the givers in, in my ministry. See that? Because I'm a giver. You understand? So I listen, Sister Todd hitting them hearts because she know. Because I know her heart. You understand? And now I'm trying to teach her, Sister Todd, only give to those that God is telling you to give to. If the Lord is telling you to release $1,000, great. You release that $1,000 in the ministry. You understand? But only do what God is saying for you to do. That's it. That's it. You have to learn to discipline yourself. Amen. Because what happens with those of us who are givers, we'll never run out now. We'll never run out because God blesses a giver. He loves a cheerful giver, right? Come on. And God gives seed to the sower, right? So those of us who always have seed, I know I always have seed. And I'm not bragging, but I always have seed, okay? The, God gives seed unto the sower. And he gives bread to those who are hungry and water to those who are thirsty. So he always supplies our need when we give out to others. You see that? You see that? But he loves a cheerful giver. So even those of you that are sowing tonight, sow cheerfully. Amen. If God told you to sow $80, be obedient. He told you to sow 100, 150, whatever God is telling you to plant tonight, be obedient. Because you are his chosen. Amen. And every seed that you sow in good soil, it has to come back to you. Hallelujah. It has to come back. Some 30, some 60, some hundredfold. This is why this ministry is so blessed. Amen. So any seed that you sow here, it's coming back. Oh, it's going to come back. And it may not come back in money. It might come back in a scholarship for your child. It might come back in a greater job. God might let you open up a business. You know, you might have needed 5,000 for that business, but you just didn't have it. And all of a sudden, here comes that supernatural money. All because you were obedient and sowing into his church, sowing into his kingdom. Amen. Come on, somebody. Because you are the chosen remnant, you have to obey God. We have to obey God in our giving. This is how he keeps our cup full. Come on. And it continues to overflow. I'm talking to the chosen now. Don't get quiet on me, y'all. <laughs> Come on. Don't, don't get quiet on me. Amen. I'm talking to the chosen. Hallelujah. Our, our cup never runs dry. Our well never runs dry. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Only way it runs dry if we are disobedient. See that? That's why Jonah messed up. See? Jonah, he went away from the presence of the Lord. See that? See? So when we are disobedient, Danielle, and God is telling us to do one thing and we do total opposite, now here comes disobedience. Now here comes the repercussions of the disobedience. You see? But we'll always make it to our destined place. Come on, Jonah made it to his destined place, even though he had to be swallowed up, you know, in the belly of the fish. He had to, he had to go a way that I'm sure he didn't want to. <laughs> Come on, the Bible said that God created a storm. Amen. For those of you that love to read the word, I want you to read Jonah chapter one and chapter two. It's not many verses. Jonah one and Jonah two. I want you to read it. Read it tonight. Read it in the morning. Amen. The Bible said that Jonah went away, sister Ashley. He went away from the presence of the Lord. When God is calling you, he said, arise. He told Jonah, arise. He said, get up and go to Nineveh. That's what he told him. He said, get up and go to Nineveh. He said, and I want you to cry against the wickedness in Nineveh, cry against their sin. Tell them how their sin has come up before me, saith the Lord. Right? Amen. And what did Jonah do? He got up. He did the first part. Come on. But then the Bible says that he went away from the presence of the Lord. See that? So as God's chosen, yes, Lord, I hear you. The Lord says, in with this. As God's chosen vessels, we have to stay in the presence of God. We cannot go away from his presence. Come on, we have to stay in the presence of the Lord. If we go away from his presence, we miss instructions. Come on, we don't have clarity of mind. So now your mind is cloudy. You're off focus. Come on, that's some of you tonight. Come on, God is pulling you out of that. He's pulling you out of that tonight. That's for some of you. Mm -hmm. You stayed on to the very end. That's, that's, that's your word tonight. God is going to get you back focused again. Come on, he's going to get you back on point again. Yeah, because you can't afford... Mm -mm. You can't afford to miss your kingdom assignment. And you don't want God to create a storm. Uh-oh. 
YouTube, Instagram, Facebook Live. You don't want God to create a storm. Read it. I want y'all to read it for yourself. I'm not going to read it for you tonight. I want you to read it on your own. Jonah chapter 1 and chapter 2. And if you want to go to 3, go to 3. Amen. Come on. I want you to read. That's your homework assignment. It's going to blow your mind because the Bible said God created the storm. Amen. And that's when the people that was on the boat said, wait a minute. Who are you? Who are you, Jonah? And he began to tell him, he said, I'm a Hebrew and this is my occupation. And this is where I came from. He said, and I'm the cause of this storm. <laughs> Come on. Jonah began to confess because he knew. Hallelujah. See, we're still talking about the remnant. How, how, how do we know Jonah was a part of the remnant? Because he didn't want the people on the ship to die. That's just like many of us that are chosen when we're in disobedience. I know I'm telling the truth and shaming the devil tonight. Come on. When we're in disobedience, we don't want nobody to pay for our disobedience. Come on. I'm talking to the chosen remnant. You don't want nobody to die because of you. Come on. So you'll remove yourself. Somebody got their answer. Somebody got their answer. I felt the anointing be released right there. We will remove ourselves so that nobody else will catch that wrath. Come on. We'll remove ourselves, right? Because we don't want nobody else to die. So Jonah said, listen, I'm the cause of this storm. Pick me up and throw me overboard. Listen, and they tried, the Bible said they tried to get the boat back to the shore. They tried to get it to the land, Sister Latoya. But every time, read it, every time they tried to get to the shore and get to the land, the, the, the ship was um, pushed out further into the sea. God said, uh-uh, you ain't getting my profit off that boat. <laughs> Listen, Ooh, I feel like shouting right there. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> this was some of y'all. I'm trying to close, but I hear the Holy Ghost. Listen, he said, uh-uh. He, listen, the storm started raging even the more. He said, wait a minute, you ain't getting my profit off this boat, you think? Hold on, I done prepared the fish that is circling. Ha, ah, glory to God, underneath this boat. Soon as y'all throw them overboard, I'm just going to have the fish just swallow them up. Mm. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Jonah probably thought when they was going to throw him overboard, he was going to die. Woo. Hallelujah. Just like some of y'all in disobedience, you thinking, oh, God, let me leave that alone. Hallelujah. <laughs> you like, just get rid of me. Just get rid of me. I'm the cause of this. Huh? God said, I ain't going to kill you. I'm going to swallow you up. I'm going to rescue you. I'm not going to kill you, though. It's going to be a little painful. You, you're going to have to sit in the belly of a fish that stinks. Yeah, they got a lot of stuff in there. Yeah, for three days. For three days, Jonah. It ain't going to be easy because you disobeyed me. But I ain't going to kill you. Ha! Ah, woo! Jesus. Mm. He's, God said, but I ain't going to kill you. I, I'm not. Woo! My God, my God. I feel it. I feel that, Pastor Kim. Listen. Some of y'all like, God, just kill me. Just take me now. I. I I done went away from your presence. I done messed up. I done kept messing up. I done keep, I keep messing up. Who is that for tonight? You're still part of the remnant because God gave you an assignment. Hmm. You're still chosen. He gave you an assignment. Huh? Can't run. <laughs> you surely can run, but you can't hide. <laughs> Come on, Jonah. Woo! Hallelujah. Danielle says me. Uh-huh. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. He ain't gonna kill you. You wanna die, Ashley. You you ain't going nowhere. Where, where, where you gonna go? Where, where, where are you going? To, uh, Jesus, have mercy. Where you gonna go? Still gotta complete the assignment. Now, it might take you a little longer to get there, but you're gonna get there. Come on, you're gonna get there. Uh-huh. This is why I reached out personally. Amen, Marie. I don't know who you are, Marie, but you gotta you gotta send me a message. My email is prophetesscarmen100 at gmail.com. I would love to know who you are, Marie. Listen, you said that's why you reach out. Per I don't know. I don't know. I don't remember. Amen. And I'm actually caught up in the spirit, so I really don't know. Can you send me an email so we can definitely pray and yeah, and God can do what's necessary? Amen. Mm. Hallelujah. Listen, let me give you all. Mm, 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 mm. Ooh, this is good. Mm. Some of you thought you was going to die. God said, uh-uh, I'm not through with you yet. I'm not through with you. I'm not through with you. Okay, got it. I know who you are now. Okay, all right. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Amen. Amen. I'm glad you connected through um, Instagram. I'm glad you connected through. Yeah, yeah. 
Amen. So first Peter chapter two, somebody else sending a message here. Mm -hmm. Amen, Sister Tracy. Come on here. Amen. I want to see you in July, Sister Tracy. Come on. You've been coming to our revivals all these years. I want to see you, Sister Tracy. <laughs> if I got to book your flight and your hotel myself, I want to see you, Sister Tracy. You got to come. You got to come to Fresh Fire Revival. You got to come, woman of God. You got to come. God said, you got to come now. Hey, hallelujah. The time has come. Woo. All right, let's read 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9, because I got to go, y'all. If we don't, it's 1 o'clock in the morning. Mm. All right, all right. Amen. 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9. Y'all still here? <laughs> Glory to God. Listen, get y'all blessed anointed oil. I'm going to do this real fast. It's a large bottle. This is a small bottle. It's on the website. All right, get y'all oil. Y'all know y'all need some oil for this new season. Large bottle, small bottle, all right? If you go to the website and you click on shop, you will see our products, prayer shawls, prayer to lease. You will see uh, blessed anointed oil. You will see our ministry t-shirts. We got ministry masks for those of you that still wear masks. Go purchase your products, all right? Okay, First Peter chapter 2, verse 9. Let's read it. Matter of fact, let's go up a little bit. Can we go up some? All right, First Peter chapter 2. Let's go up a little bit to, because I was reading this earlier. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's go up to verse 4. Amen. Sister Tracy, it's all right. It's all right if you hug on me, Sister Tracy. I get it all the time. Listen, I get it all the time. I get it all the time, woman of God. I can't wait. Amen. I can't wait. Amen. Amen. Mm-hmm. God's going to do something amazing. Yes, press your way for July. Listen, that flyer will be coming soon, you all. Y'all know I don't like dry lips. I'm sorry. Mm-mm. It's getting late too. Whew. All right. Let's go up to verse four. Let's go up to verse four. Okay. So verse four says to whom coming as unto a living stone, disallowed indeed of men, but chosen of God and precious. Somebody shout rejected. Somebody shout rejected. All right. Verse five. Ye also as living stones are built up a spiritual house, a holy priesthood, to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God and Jesus, I'm sorry, by Jesus Christ. All right, let's go down a little bit. Let's go down, let's go down, let's go down. Now we can go to eight. A stone of stumbling and a rock of offense, even to them which stumble at the word, being disobedient, whereunto also they were appointed. Verse 9. But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people mm -hmm, that have showed forth the praises of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Amen. So that was speaking of those that were rejected and God was reminding them. He said, listen. Before I can tell you that you are chosen generation, I have to remind you that you are chosen of me and you are precious. That's verse four, right? And then it speaks about you being accepted to God by Jesus Christ. So those of us who are chosen, the remnant, amen, because we get to that in verse nine, we have to understand that God has chosen us before the foundation of the world. This is not just something that started, you know, when you decided you wanted to get saved, you were always chosen. Amen. You were chosen in your mother's belly. All right. You were chosen in your mother's womb. Amen. Amen. Come on. Somebody shout amen. You were chosen already. Amen. You were marked. Amen. For God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then he goes on to say, but you are a chosen generation, Danielle, which means it's more than one of us. So it's not just me. Amen. But it's all of you that are receiving this word on tonight. Amen. Come on. You are a chosen generation. You are a royal priesthood. Purple is the color of royalty. Amen. And this is one of my handkerchiefs right here that is purple. Okay. I love the color purple because purple represents royalty. All right. It says you are a royal priesthood, a holy nation. Okay. This is why God wants us to live holy. And when you hear nation, that lets you know it's not just you. It's not just you, but it's all of us. Amen. We are a holy nation before God. 
We are a peculiar people, which means we don't look like everybody else. We don't walk like everybody else. We don't talk like everybody else. We are different. Right, Pastor Kim? Listen, hallelujah. We are cut from a different cloth. Amen. And so we, we do not fit in. We are peculiar. Amen. Um, and we show forth the praises of him, of God, who has called us out of darkness into his marvelous light. That's the story of your life. Those of you that have chosen the remnant, that's the story of your life. It was God that brought you out. But now that he brought you out, you got to give him praise. Hallelujah. That's how we stay out, Sister Kashina, by giving God praise. Hallelujah. By giving him glory, saying, Lord, it was you that brought me out. Hallelujah. When I was in the, the lion's den and the, the, the dumb, dumb lions was trying to kill me, God, it was you that shut the mouth of the lion. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When the enemy was trying to kill me, come on here. Hallelujah. Had a gun, pulled a gun on me. Now that's my testimony. That may not be your testimony. Come on here. Hallelujah. It was only by the grace of God that, 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 um, it wasn't pulled. Amen. That trigger was not pulled. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God said the weapons may form against my chosen vessels, but they will not prosper. It won't work. It won't work, but it has to, it has to form. For you to realize that God got you covered. Can somebody write in the comments as we get ready to close tonight? God got me covered. Amen. God got me covered. Because Sheena said, that's definitely my testimony. See, and you're still here. Hallelujah. You're still here because you got work to do. Amen. Many of you are still here because you got work to do. Hallelujah. You got work to do in Jesus mighty name. Hallelujah. And so in closing, amen, I was going to talk about the children of disobedience, but you know what? We'll touch that on Friday. Amen. Because that's the total opposite of the chosen vessels of God. And God is going to teach you even um, when I when I do the teaching Friday about the children of disobedience, we're going to know who we're fighting and what we're fighting. That's what God gave me. Amen. There are children of disobedience that come against the child of God. See, they don't like the fact that you're trying to obey God. They don't like the fact that you're trying to live for God. So they'll come against you. They'll call you holy roller. You know, they'll say all kinds of things about you. You know, they talk about you when really all you're doing is serving God. That's it. That's it. You're just living for God. You say, listen, for God, I live and for God, I'm going to die. And because of that, they reject you. But guess what? It's good that they reject you because they rejected Jesus. Hallelujah. So guess what? Because they rejected him. He was the Messiah. Listen, he, listen, he was God in the flesh. But just know that because they rejected him, Sister Latoya, Marie, Ashley, all of you that's on this Instagram, all of you that's on Facebook Live, Tracy, let me tell you something. Those of you that's going to watch this YouTube video, because they rejected our Lord and Savior, it's all right. Just know that they're going to reject you too. Hallelujah. Amen. Sharon says, they said that I'm a witch. Listen, Sharon, look, recently I had two people call me a witch. I was like, what in the devil? I said, here I am trying to help you and pray for you and bring you out of bondage and you calling me names. I said, what is going on here? See that? But that's because they don't understand your kingdom assignment. It's all right. Let them call you names. Amen. It goes back to my former pastor. I couldn't understand why people would talk about her. I just couldn't understand. I'm like, here it is. I mean, I've seen people drive hours to come to the ministry and we would stay once church was over. We would stay and I would watch limbs grow out. Hallelujah. I, I would see people get healed from cancer. Mm, glory to God. I, I would see people that had boils all over their body. Hallelujah. And after she done got, got finished praying, hallelujah, the boils, high by shape, would disappear. Glory to God. And then years later, these same people would talk about her. See, I had to learn. That was my training ground. That was my training ground right there. And God said, listen. He said, they did it to my son, Jesus. Come on, they did it to your former pastor. They're going to do it to you. See, that was my training ground. So I'm not surprised. Hallelujah. When people turn their back and leave the ministry, I'm not surprised. Amen. Because God already warned me. He already told me, but he did say, daughter, some will remain with you. And the ones that remain with you are my chosen people. Mm. Glory to the lamb of God. Hallelujah. Woo. 
Hallelujah. Mm, hallelujah. That's what he told me, Sister Tracy. He said, those that come and leave and talk about you and got it out for you. He said, don't worry about them. They're not my chosen vessels. Hallelujah. He said, I sent them your way. Glory to God to get healed, delivered and set free. Mm, hallelujah. Come on, somebody. He said, but my chosen ones will remain with you. Ah, glory to God. And you shall, hey, shatanda baha, and you shall do ministry together. Mm. That's why he gave me the vision of our new church. And he told me there will be many leaders that are getting ready to come. Hallelujah. And some are already here. Amen, Pastor Kim. Come on, I can't name everybody. Amen, but there's a few of you God has already sent. Hallelujah for the work of ministry. Oh, we get ready to lay hands on the sick. Hayabashe. Glory to God. And they will recover. Come on. Hallelujah. Oh, we yeah, 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 yeah. Hallelujah. Some 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 dead bodies are getting ready to be resurrected. Ah, in the name of Jesus. Come on here. Hallelujah. This is why the enemy is mad. Oh, he's frustrated, but he ain't got no power. <laughs> Come on, can somebody write in the comments? He's bad, but he ain't got no power. Hallelujah. And there's one prophet that I was connected to that I'm still connected to. You know what he would say? He would say, prophetess, put a cape on the devil and make him super mad. <laughs> Come on, somebody. <laughs> Listen, hallelujah. You just, just put a cape on him, Apostle Rita. Put a cape on the devil and make him super mad. Super. Y'all get it? Superman, super mad. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Listen, hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. Listen, I know y'all caught that, right? Come on, y'all caught that. Put a cape on the devil. Next time he do something, say, you know what? Hey, I'm going to give you a cape. You, you think you somebody. Okay, here's a cape for you. All right, there's a cape. Now you're going to be super mad. <laughs> I know y'all caught that. Amen. This is a good way to exit. Listen, you were chosen for the master's use. Listen, there is a remnant. Hallelujah. And you are a part of it in Jesus mighty name. Glory to God. Let us pray. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you on tonight, Father God. We glorify you. Father, we bless your holy name on tonight, God. This morning, oh God, thank you for this here, your people, oh God, on Facebook and Instagram and YouTube, Lord God. Thank you for gathering your people on tonight from each and every place, Lord God, from the north, the south, the east, and the west, God. Lord, we say thank you right now for the gathering of your people, the men and the women, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God. Your chosen vessels, Lord God, your prophets, hallelujah, your pastors, your fivefold ministry, yes, Lord, your evangelists, glory to God, hallelujah, hey, hallelujah, your teachers, Lord God. Thank you for gathering the remnant here tonight in the name of Jesus, yes, Lord. Father, we, we thank you on tonight, God, for the gathering of your people. Now, Lord, we thank you for this word, oh God, and this teaching that you have given us, oh God. Let us hide it in our heart, Father that we might not sin against you in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us be reminded tonight, God, that we are chosen for your use, God, and everything we do from this day forward must glorify you in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I pray a special prayer over your chosen vessels, oh God, that anything that's in their life that you will remove it, Father, in the name of Jesus, anything that will cause them to, to forsake or to miss out on their kingdom assignment. I pray right now in the name of Jesus, God, that you would strengthen them, that you would give them the spirit of discernment, that they will be able to discern the tactics of Satan in the name of Jesus. And God, they will be able to turn away from the devices of the enemy, that they will have the power, hallelujah, to bind the works of Satan in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, because they are chosen, hallelujah, because they are your vessels, oh God, because they are, yes, Lord, hallelujah, your royal priesthood, hallelujah. Mm, they are your peculiar people. Father, we thank you right now for another level of discernment. Hallelujah. Upon your chosen vessels this morning in the name of Jesus. Yes, God. And Father, as you remind them, hallelujah, that they are chosen for your use, God, that you have cut them from a different cloth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, glory to God. You have cut them from a different cloth. Yes, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. So help them to be reminded that when they are rejected, they are rejecting you, Father. Oh, God, when they come against you, hallelujah, when they come against them, they are coming against you, Father, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. You said in your word, hallelujah. Oh God, you said, let God arise and your enemies be scattered. Our enemies be scattered. Father, we thank you now that every enemy that we have, God, as we lift up your name, Jesus, as we honor you, as we obey you, God, you said, let God arise and our enemies be scattered. Father, help your chosen vessels to remain obedient, oh God, so that the enemies that they see today, they will see no more. In Jesus' mighty name, I decree and declare victory over every child 
chosen vessel. I decree and declare victory. Hallelujah. Over the remnant now in the name of Jesus and the remnant will rise. Not just, oh God, those that are on this Facebook live and on Instagram, but all around the globe, Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray right now for the remnant to arise. In the mighty name of Jesus, this midnight hour, I pray, oh God, yes, God, in the realm of the spirit. Yes, Lord, I pray right now, hallelujah, that your chosen vessels will begin to unite. In the name of Jesus, they will begin to be strengthened. You said in your word, God, one can chase a thousand, but two can put 10,000 to flight, Father. Oh, God, strategically, I pray, hallelujah, that God, you will begin, hallelujah, to gather your, your, your chosen vessels and your remnant together for your glory and for your purpose in the name of Jesus. Yes, God. And we bind every spirit of jealousy. We come against it now by the power and the blood of Jesus. There shall be no jealousy, my God. There shall be no envy. There shall be no strife. Life. But God, your chosen vessels, hallelujah, will tap into the anointing that you have placed upon their life in the name of Jesus, um, that they will tap in every gift, oh God, that you have placed inside of them in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. And then, Father, we will unite for your purpose and for your glory. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Oh, God, and touch the men tonight. Hallelujah. Raise them up to be men of valor in the name of Jesus. Yes, God, and raise up your women. Hallelujah. To be well and women in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh God, raise us up even the more that we will begin to pray in the realm of the spirit in Jesus mighty name. For God, you have called us for such a time as this. And you said many are called, but few are chosen. So Father, we thank you that we're chosen tonight. We thank you that we're chosen this morning. Oh God, for you have chosen, you have, you have chosen us, God. You have chosen us, God. And we thank you for choosing us, Father. We didn't choose you, Lord, but you chose us. So, God, we just seal this prayer in the blood of Jesus, and we count it done. And we thank you now, God. Hallelujah. With a humble spirit that you have chosen us, God. You have chosen us for your glory. We just say thank you, Lord. We humble our spirit on tonight, God. Because we know, Father, you said no flesh shall glory in your sight, oh God. But we just humbly, oh God, we just come in your presence and say thank you. Thank you for choosing us, God. Thank you for making us an example, oh God. Thank you, oh God, that we are living epistles. Hallelujah. And our lives shall be read before many men in the name of Jesus. They may not read the Bible, oh God, but they are reading our our lives. So Father, we just humble ourselves tonight in prayer in the name of Jesus. And Father, humbly we say thank you. Oh God, we say thank you. Hallelujah. We say thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for choosing us, God. Oh God, and even those who've been through battle and even those who are coming out of a storm, I pray for restoration in the name of Jesus that their heart be restored, their spirit be restored, their mind be restored in the name of Jesus. Yes, God. And I pull every chosen and soldier, hallelujah, that's been wounded, my God, I pulled them out of the pit tonight in the name of Jesus, um, and God, I pray that you would dust them off, oh God, and you would strengthen them even now in the mighty name of Jesus, yes, God, that they will be warriors on the front line for you from this day forward in Jesus' mighty name, in Jesus' mighty name, in Jesus' mighty name, I do pray with thanksgiving, in my heart, in our hearts, Father, this morning, we say thank you. And it's in Jesus' name that I do pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. Listen, it has been awesome tonight. I love you all. I really do. Amen. I thank you all for taking the time to join tonight. PIPW Ministry. I am Apostle Carmen Haywood. Getting ready to sign off. Get your seed in the ground. Get your best seed in the ground. I do want to say this, though. Amen. The Lord brought it back to me. Rehoboth. Amen. That God is making room for us. Listen, Rehoboth. Amen. So if you want to sow your seed, glory to God of 50 tonight. Amen. Which is also Jubilee, which also represents Rehoboth. Glory to God. If you want to sow your seed of 50, name your seed, Rehoboth. Amen. I love you, Patricia. And happy birthday to you. I would sing happy birthday, but my voice is not the best. But happy birthday, uh, Sister Patricia, woman of God. God bless you. Amen. Those of you that are believing God to make room for you, it's already happening. He's making room for you. You know, the Bible says that God will make room for your gift. You don't have to do anything. Hallelujah. Just be present. 
Amen. Just remain obedient to him. Glory to God. And he's going to make room for you. Amen. So those of you that receive Rehoboth, you receive, hallelujah, the fact that God is making room for you, amen, to give you more because there's more that he is required for you to do. Get your seed of 50 in the ground. Amen. We have Cash App. Please make sure that the Cash App is a pink flyer because some of you have been sowing into another ministry. Listen, um, is PIPW Ministry, Money Sign PIPW Ministry is a pink flyer um, that is on our Cash App, all right? So please make sure that you sow, if you're sowing on Cash App, that you sow there. Yes, let's say happy birthday to Sister um, Patricia. Yes, 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 in Jesus' name. Glory to God. And if you're sowing on PayPal, it's paypal.me slash prophetic impact. If you're sowing on Zelle, the Zelle account is 267 576 8358. Once again, if you're sewing on Zelle, it's 267-576-8358. All right, get your seed in the ground. And we also have a ministry's website where you can also go and purchase your products. All right, don't forget your blessed oil. I'll be sending some out tomorrow. So for those of you that need blessed oil, place your order tonight. I will kindly send it out to you in the morning. Amen. This, this oil has already been prayed over and it's powerful. Your faith and this oil, your faith in God, your prayers, and this oil as a contact, works miracles. God does it. Amen. In Jesus name. I love you. I have a beautiful night in Jesus name. Get your seed in the ground. Seal this word on tonight, this morning. Blessings to you all. Shalom, everyone.